arch rival, the Dallas Cowboys. And now welcome to the booth. I am Joe Buck. Troy Aikman is coming right up. Well, here are the Redskins, despite all that they've been through this year, which includes the death of their teammate, Sean Taylor, one win away from getting into the postseason. And a big change as they've been on this three-game winning streak has been the play at quarterback by Todd Collins. Troy Aikman, there is no doubt that you look at the numbers and you look at the way this offense has moved for Washington, this guy, at least offensively, is the single biggest reason why they're on this roll. Well, there's no doubt. I mean, he can't Came in off the bench three weeks ago against Chicago, and who would have guessed that he would have been able to play the way that he was able to? And you look at what he's been able to do the last two weeks as the starter. This team has rallied behind him. They've gained the confidence over that period. I know in visiting with Joe Gibbs just the other day, he said this is the biggest game that has happened here in Washington since he returned as the head coach. He knows that if they win and they get an opportunity to get into the playoffs with the confidence that they're currently playing with, he feels that this team can can really do something. Let's talk about the other side. The Dallas Cowboys have a chance for the first time in the history of the great franchise to win 14 games in a season. And I would say this, offensively the last three weeks, they haven't really been all that impressive. They need to get something going here before the end of the regular season. Yeah, they haven't been all that impressive, but they're not going to be playing their guys all that long today. Of course, Terrell Owens, he didn't even make the trip. Tony Romo will play. Marion Barber, Jason Witten, but only because there's some certain milestones that they're approaching and they're important important to them as they are to Wade Phillips. I think the Dallas Cowboys look at this game and they just want to get in, get out, and get back to Dallas healthy and get ready for that divisional round after next week's wild card games. The weather, it is nasty. Temperature is just under 40, so it's not sleet or ice or snow, but it is a damp field as Rock Cartwright takes it from about his 10. And right up the middle, crosses the 30, is knocked down close to the 34 by Kevin Burnett. A return of 24 yards. So the early look at Todd Collins, and the story is really, I would say, uplifting for a guy who has shown so much perseverance over the years to be in this position to take the Washington Redskins into the playoffs with a solid day today and a win means so much to Todd Collins into this Redskins organization making the most of an opportunity that finally came his way as Clinton Portis gets it takes it across the 35 yard line for a guy like Todd Collins Troy who was a former second round pick of the Buffalo Bills in 95 studied under Jim Kelly got a chance to be a starter in 97 was five and eight and 13 starts then Wade Phillips comes in. They have Rob Johnson. They bring in Doug Flutie. He's gone. He spends eight years in Kansas City. Doesn't start a game. And here he is revitalizing this organization at quarterback. Second and eight. Play action. Collins over the middle. Incomplete for Antoine Randall L. Good coverage by the Pro Bowler Hamlin. You know, you talk about Todd Collins, Joe, and his journey and, you know, the teams that he has been with and then the lack of an opportunity to be the starter, you know, over the last 10 years prior to, you know, a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, it was interesting. He said, not only did I go 10 years without getting an opportunity to start another NFL game, he would go years at a time before he would even get reps in practice. You know, I mean, that's that's disheartening enough. And yet he kept himself prepared and ready for the opportunity when it presented itself. Third and eight. Collins with all day throws and completes to Moss. Santana hops up and they'll mark him at the 48 of Dallas. 16 yards and a first down. I'll tell you what, that was a heck of a route there by Santana Moss and even a better catch. You see him push up. You know, and he's able to create that separation because of the threat of his speed. Is a ball that was low. Obviously, we've got wet conditions here. The ball's going to be slick throughout the afternoon. But a great job by Santana Moss getting down to make that catch. First possession of the day for the Washington Redskins. First down after a completion from Collins to Moss on third and long. And here's Portis to the 41. An eight-yard run, and if you're just joining us, the stakes are high for the Redskins. A win, and they are in the playoffs. A win, and they've won four straight. And they would certainly go into the postseason as one of the hot teams in the NFC. Well, there's no doubt about that. I mean, when you look at what they've had to do to even make this game meaningful, that 
you know they get in they're playing they're playing well defensively they're running the football decent and they got a hot quarterback and that's obviously important in postseason second and two and the pass is caught great hands by Antoine Randall L to the 35 first down and I think if you look at the success here over the last couple of games the, the Redskins have always been known as a running football team power running game but the success the success that they've been able to have on the offensive side has been really due to the plays they've been able to make in the passing game and even what we've seen here in this first possession Santana Moss Antoine Randall making nice catches keeping this drive alive. A stand up and a throw and a completion of Moss on the right side to the 31. Todd Collins will tell you that he is trying to find his playmakers and he has done that over the past couple of weeks and at the top of his list even though Cooley is the number one receiver as far as catches in this Redskins offense the playmaker Santana Moss and he's been looking his way quite a bit the last two weeks. Play action from Collins he loses the football. It looked like the Redskins got back on top of it. They did Marcus Spears with the hit. Greg Ellis was in there as well in a loss of seven. Yeah there's the pressure right there and he just does not see it coming. Looked like he was trying to get down the field to Santana Moss looking to his left doesn't does not see then the pressure from the front side fortunate to be able to get back on that one. So it sets up third and long. And right now the Redskins are right. I would say just a hair outside field goal range for Sweezum on a wet cold day. Third and 12. Pass is short and caught. Caught by Rache Caldwell. Now they say incomplete. The initial call was that it was a catch and now will the Redskins attempt a 55 yard field goal. Let's take another look as that ball did squirt through and a good job by the official seeing that and ruling that one incomplete as we saw each of the throws that Todd Collins made on this possession you know they all came out a little bit low. You know, a lot of times when you throw in a wet football the ball sails on you but for Todd Collins just hanging on to it a little bit long trying to be sure about the throw. And the ball's going into the ground. No 55 yard try for Sweezum, and Frost hits it into the end zone. So the Dallas Cowboys defensively survive what looked like a promising opening drive for the Redskins, trying to get into the postseason with a win here today over Dallas. Cowboys have it. First time, no score. Oh, honey, I told the neighbors we'd feed their pets while they're away. Oh, okay, sweetie. Oh, no. Want to get away? Now you can. Go to Southwest.com and use your MasterCard card to purchase Southwest Airlines tickets from $49 to $99 to over 60 destinations nationwide. You are now free to move about the country. All these years, you've gone through the day without email like this in your pocket, or stock updates like this in your pocket, or internet like this in your pocket, and you survived. The question is, how? Nice car according to J.D. Power & Associates. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. With Southwest Airlines' convenient nonstop flights, it's like having your own company play. A wet day. No score. First possession, Dallas. The number two offense in the NFL behind New England. Men on the rush in 
the pass broken up by Springs. Patrick Creighton, the intended receiver, and a big addition to this lineup for the Dallas Cowboys here today at some point, if the Cowboys deem this field to be worthy of his emergence is Terry Glenn who could be a big weapon on the outside and a deep threat for Tony Romo. Yeah in fact initially there was rain in the forecast obviously it's raining and they had said that they would not suit Terry Glenn up if that was the case but they do want to see him get some work today prior to going into postseason. Second and ten and the handoff is to Julius Jones. Picks up one. There are a number of key inactives today for the Dallas Cowboys. It starts with Terrell Owens, who is having a career type year. Just fantastic on the outside for Romo. Terrence Newman, a pro bowler. Andre Girard, a pro bowler. And Jay Ratliff, who has played terrific football to get a contract extension, he's inactive. Well, they're confident that all of those guys will be able to play in the divisional round, but with Terrell Owens and the high ankle sprain, I mean, you just never know really how that's going to react. He's the uncertain one. Third nine, the pass to Witten. It depends on the spot. It looked like Witten was short of first down yardage, yardage he was. And so on fourth down, the punt team comes on for Dallas. Yeah, you know what you try to do, Jason Witten trying to get enough so that if he makes the reception, he picks up the first down. He was there initially, but then having to come back to the football in order to make the catch, he then comes up short of the first down. See that San Diego score on the top of your screen. If they win, they are the number three seed in the AFC. So three and out for the Dallas offense, which has been less than spectacular for three straight weeks. Pressure, but no block. Antoine Randall L from inside the 20. Out across the 25. 52 yard punt, eight yard return. Davis on the tackle. Redskins have it. Second time. No score. I'm interested in getting. Sorry. Hi, honey. How much are they there? These are really quiet, I think. So, sorry. Excuse me. Hello, Dad. How much are they there? How much? Shut up. <laughs> Billy. Yes. How much is it there? Holy moly. At Lowe's, you'll always get the best price around with our everyday low price That's guarantee. Wrong. I'll take them. Find a better price on anything we sell, and we'll match it plus take an additional 10% off. How much is it there? Trust me, just buy it. Thanks. Lowe's. Let's build something together. Nissan engineers know the backbone of any truck is its frame. That's why the Nissan Titan's frame is fully boxed. Unlike competitor C frames that are prone to flexing, our box frame is the strongest truck frame we've ever built. Just one more reason is the Titan of trucks. The 2008 full-size Nissan Titan. Now get up to $5,000 Nissan cash back or 0.9% APR financing. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Bud Light. Endless refreshment from start to finish. Bud Light keeps it coming. One of the best right tackles was lost early for the Redskins. John Jansen, that's him. Jason Campbell, the starter until Todd Collins took over after that hit that Campbell suffered a dislocated kneecap in the second quarter of the Chicago game December 6th. They also have their starting right guard Randy Thomas on IR. Lost six of their initial starting 22 which obviously includes the death of Sean Taylor a pro bowler voted on this year. Collins stands in the pocket broken up for Yoder. Aiken Adell back there to get his left hand on it. Second and ten. That's a good job there by Aiken Adell. They're trying to get Chris Cooley down the seam. You see him release off the ball. 
Actually, I'm sorry, Joe. You said it was Yoder, and he's trying to get across there, and then Aiken Adele just able to make a pretty good play. Had Todd Collins been able to put any air underneath that, and you just wonder how much the water on the ball is affecting some of his throws. Second and ten. Quick throw. That's Cooley out there. Slips one tackle and picks up a first down. You know, Chris Cooley, one of those guys who can play a lot of different positions. He's listed as a tight end. He plays more of the H back here with the Washington Redskins. But then they also split him out, as they did there. And he's making his first trip over to Hawaii. He was voted into the Pro Bowl this year. And it's a good thing. I mean, he's had a great year and so many times because he's not really looked upon as a true tight end. I think people and the voters tend to overlook him at that position. But not this year. He's really played outstanding ball and has deserved the trip. Clinton Portis tries the right side. Not much room to run. Portis picks up two. Let's go down to the field and say hi for the first time to Pam Oliver. Hey there, Joe. Joe Gibbs really had a number of poignant things to say to the team this week, and a lot of them really stood out to the players. One thing in particular, London Fletcher told me, when Joe Gibbs said, let's, net, let's not let this ride come to an end. He said, as turbulent as it's been, let's not let this ride come to an end. Fletcher also said, not a day goes by when Gibbs does not express his pride in the team, but for everybody, playoffs is what it's all about. Back to you. All right, Pam. Thank you. It's Second and eight. And it's play action from Collins who finds Cooley. 17 yards and a big first down for the Redskins. Tell you what, left tackle Chris Samuels, he's got his hands full over here with DeMarcus Ware. I mean, the premier pass rusher in the National Football League does actually a pretty good job against him there and allows Collins to have a place to be able to step up. And then on the outside again, Chris Cooley, leading receiver on this team and making a good play. Chris Samuels also going to be joining Chris Cooley over there in Hawaii this year. Low snap. Collins, Antoine Randall, there's a penalty flag as the ball's picked off by Hamlin. There was a lot of contact down there inside the 25, and it's coming back. Allen Ball, who is a rookie defensive back, was tangled up with Antoine Randall, number 20. Interference, defense, number 20. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. And it was really primarily because the ball was was underthrown and then to the inside that created the pass interference. And you know, Antoine Randall really had no opportunity to even try to make a play on that. Not a very good decision by Todd Collins. I mean, there was coverage that way, and then another ball that got away from him. But there was contact, and the right call was made by the officials. Touchdown, Washington, no flags. Well, good job along that left side. Center Casey Robach, Pete Kendall, Chris Samuels. You see the push, and then the kick out there with Mike Sellers on DeMarcus Ware, and then just poor tackling by the Dallas Cowboys in the secondary. Clinton Portis and Santana Moss have been such a, a big part of the success here over the last three games, and Clinton Portis breaking some tackles and getting in for the end zone touchdown. Yeah, Roy Williams, one of the guys who whiffed. Seven to nothing Redskins in a game they need. A win in their end. Hands on the hips for Wade Phillips. Doesn't like the tackling. Redskins love it. They lead by seven here in the first quarter. Get a great deal on the Dodge you want during the final days of the event of a lifetime. Get 0% financing on all 08 Dodge vehicles like the full-size Ram pickup. Plus, make no payments till summer on all Dodge vehicles, including the all-new Grand 
Dodge Caravan. And the fuel efficient 30 miles per gallon Dodge Avenger. Plus, you'll be covered by the best warranty in the business, Dodge's Lifetime Powertrain Warranty. Get to your Dodge dealer today because the event of a lifetime ends in three days. Okay, what's a three-letter word for... Honey, would you run out and get me something crunchy? Crunchy. And chewy. Crunchy and chewy. And cheesy. Crunchy, chewy, cheesy. Crunchy, chewy, cheesy. And melty. Give in to your cravings. It's Taco Bell's Cheesy Gordita Crunch, and it's only around for a limited time. Get yours before they're gone. smart enough to translate. For drivers who want to get the most out of their cars, it's Bridgestone or nothing. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. By Claritin Allergy Products. Live Claritin Clear. And by Dodge. Live to the fullest. Dodge. Grab life. Since Clinton Portis was traded here to the Redskins, he is number three in the NFC in rushing yardage to Sean Alexander and Tiki Barber. Only his third run of 20 plus yards all season. Look at that. That tells you what kind of a day it is with a football as the kickoff goes out of bounds. And the Cowboys down by seven will start at their own 40. Oops, says kickoff Sean out of Sweezen. Bounds. Kicking team. Ball will be placed at the 40 yard line. First down. Scott Green takes us to break. stuff you need for all the stuff you got at your neighborhood radio shack do stuff i can't sleep did you have a nightmare no i'm worried about this family's financial future does your retirement plan provide predictability of income and protection against market risk do you have good supplemental health insurance what about estate planning car insurance dents are easy to fix but liabilities a nightmare buddy we're with aig oh the AIG companies, the strength to be there. Ah, don't get up. I'll tuck myself in. Get a great deal on the Dodge you want during the final days of the event of a lifetime. Get 0% financing on all 08 Dodge vehicles like the full-size Ram pickup. Plus, make no payments till summer on all Dodge vehicles, including the all-new Grand Caravan. And the fuel-efficient 30 miles per gallon Dodge Avenger. Plus, you'll be covered by the best warranty in the business, Dodge's Lifetime Powertrain Warranty. Get to your Dodge dealer today, because the event of a lifetime ends in three days. My allergies make it hard to work. That's why I'm cleared and clear out here and in here too. Whether it's dust, mold, or Sam here, Claritin relieves all my worst indoor allergy symptoms for 24 hours. Non-drowsy Claritin. Live Claritin clear, indoors and out. You take a look at the touchdown here. Chris Samuels and Pete Kendall, they double here and they come off on Aiken Adele. And then they got Mike Sellers kicking out on DeMarcus Ware, which is what creates the lane. And Antoine Randall, he gets in the action as well on Ken Hamlin, the safety, but Anthony Henry and Roy Williams unable to make the tackle. Just great execution up front by that left side of the offensive line. So the Redskins did exactly what they wanted to do, get an early score on the Cowboys who are playing in a game that other than individual records and the team goal of 14 wins, which would be a franchise record, doesn't mean a whole lot. Up on Dallas, 7 0, and out of the shotgun, picked off Springs. Pass intended for Terry Glenn, his first play of the season. Interception, Sean Springs.
Well, Sean Springs, he's just, he's off in coverage, and he's just reading through the receiver to Tony Romo. He sees him set up, make the throw, and drives hard on it and beats Terry Glenn to the position. Now, you wonder if Sean Springs, knowing that Terry Glenn has not played all season, knowing that he's got a bad knee, and not worried about the speed that Terry Glenn typically has. Maybe he squat on the route, but he definitely drove on it once he saw Tony Romo set up to make the throw. This has been a Washington defense that has dominated taking the ball away. Seven takeaways compared to only one giveaway over the last three plus games. And Collins, after handing that off to Portis for a three yard gain, fell down. Let's go for a game break. Here's Kurt Menefee. Joe, you know the Viking situation to make a playoff. So watch Chester Taylor. Keep an eye on the ball. Diving towards the end zone, ball comes out, hits the top of the pylon, originally called a touchdown, but Denver challenged, they reviewed it, reversed it, and because the ball went out of bounds in the end zone, it was a touchback, and Denver has the football. And that's a game, obviously, Kurt, that these Redskins and their fans will pay attention to. As Collins completes, and the tackle is made immediately by Brady James on Clinton Portis, a gain of three. Why is that the case with regard to Minnesota? If Minnesota loses out in Denver today, the Redskins are in no matter what because the Saints lost today at Chicago. The Giants, valiant effort last night. Eli Manning, a strong game in the loss to New England. Dallas, the number one seed, and six of the last eight number one seeds in the NFC have made the Super Bowl. Third down and four. Underneath Cooley depends on the spot. Forced out right at the marker, and it depends on where they place the football. Roy Williams pushed him out, and we'll get a measurement. Hey, Chris Cooley, he's getting uh, quite a bit of the work here in this this first quarter. Not a lot unlike what it's been for him all season long. You know let's say this is a drive for the Washington Redskins that ends up in points again. You wonder you know with the completions record and all that on the line for Dallas not really huge milestones. That's a first down for Washington. How much the Dallas Cowboys will be willing to expose Tony Romo to the defensive schemes put together by Greg Williams it may not be worth it and I'll say this if Dallas loses in the first round of the playoffs when they play which is the second round overall whatever Wade Phillips decides to do with his starters and his stars here today will be the wrong decision you can't win. Yeah well that's true with every team in the league that's in this position you know we saw it last night with the New York Giants we'll see it today with the Indianapolis Colts and some others toss to Portis lost the ball and a big turnover. Brady James comes away with a football as that thing squirted out of the hands of Clinton Portis who fumbles for the sixth time this season. And it's one of the things that the Redskins have really done a great job of here over their three game winning streak is not turn the ball over the last two games they've not had any turnovers and they were in a position to take a pretty comfortable lead and they give it right back to the Cowboys. DeMarcus Ware forced it out Brady James picked it up Dallas takes over down seven. If you could get protection like this for the same price as this, why wouldn't you? It's the same with car insurance. If you can get State Farm's unbeatable good neighbor protection for the same or less than the other guys, why wouldn't you? With discounts up to 40%, you could. Get a quote and start saving today. We gotta talk. Nasal sprays? Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots. Huh? Mucinex nasal spray. New Mucinex full force nasal spray. Specially made to clear even the toughest mucus out of your nose for 12 hours. Mucinex in, mucus out. Aliens versus Predator. Rated R. Now playing. Stay tight in the pocket. Be on time. Is he blitzing? 
30 seconds until sack. Work your eyes to the left. Stare down that safety. Look off the mic. What's the corner doing? Little FC or what? Two seconds we until sack. We need this one. Looking for Harrison. Harrison's completely covered. One second until sack. Who's breaking through? Who's breaking hot? Who's more hot? As soon as Manning thinks it, then you see it. Watch exclusive coverage of live game moments with NFL Mobile. This is the NFL at Sprint Speed. There's a new game in town from the NFL. <laughs> NFL Rush Zone. Come play at NFLRush.com. First turnover by the Redskins in the last 11 quarters. A big secret to their success. And now the Cowboys, who have eight Pro Bowlers on offense, when all are healthy and in there, take over at their own 32 down seven. First and 15. Witten. Ball start. Offense. Number 75. Five yard penalty. First down. They got Colombo. Witten moved as well, the right side of the offensive line. And so it's first down and 15 for Dallas with four and a half to play in the first quarter. You know, as good as Dallas has been in so many areas, both offensively and defensively, that's that's one part of their game where they have struggled. They've been penalized a lot throughout the season. Toss to Marion Barber, and he's wrapped up by Carter. Carter's having a great year with ten and a half sacks, four forced fumbles, and that one good for a loss of four. Yeah, and, and Flozell Adams was blocking him, but you see, he plays off the block. He's able to get out there and then make the tackle. And you're right, Joe. Andre Carter has had an exceptional year and used to years ago. That's how you attacked him when he was playing. Even going back to when he was with the 49ers, you run right at him. But, you know, teams have not been able to have much success even doing that this year against him. London Fletcher coming on a blitz and they dump it off to Barber on a screen who's out to the 29 Godfrey on the stop again of seven third and long coming up. I know you came in Joe we were talking about how Dallas offensively you know they've just struggled here over the last couple of ball games and now they come into this game and they don't want to give them too much of a rest so obviously that's why they're playing here today but you know, as we said, Wade Phillips really wants to see some of these guys achieve some of the individual accomplishments. And, you know, I know that Tony Romo needs seven completions in order to set a new single season record for the Dallas Cowboys in completions. Jason Witten has a chance to catch 100 balls. But in the process of doing that, you know, you wonder, are they really getting a lot out of this? So far, I'd say no. Third and 13, Romo has forever, throws high. And somehow it's caught by Creighton way short. A first down yardage, just a gain of three. A dangerous throw by Tony Romo as he had a lot of time but nowhere to go with it. Yeah, I mean, pretty good coverage by the Washington Redskins. You can see he had all kinds of time. And he does a great job of looking at all of his options. And then the last one that he had was just trying to sling the ball out, avoid the sack, and take what he could get. Well, that gives you a pretty good indication as to how well this coverage team is playing for the Washington Redskins. McBriar hits it. Antoine Randall L from inside the 20. To the sideline. And a penalty flag comes in. At the end of the run back, Aiken Adele on the stop for Dallas. And we'll see if this costs the Redskins pretty good field position. Illegal block in the back. Number 27, return team, 10 yard penalty, first down. Basically erases the 15 yard return by Antoine Randall L. Fred Smoot was guilty. You look at the career of Todd Collins. In 1995, after a very good run at Michigan, the second round pick by the Bills, became a full time starter in 97, went 5 and 8. Signed as a backup with Kansas City, appeared in 12 games. Through 27 passes in eight years, and last year wasn't even active for seven games. He was the third 
quarterback and finally is getting this chance. Well, and going back to when he was with Kansas City, he backed up Trent Green as the second quarterback for over 100 games and never got a chance to play. I mean, it's just, you know, now he knows how a lot of those backups have felt playing behind Brett Favre in Green Bay. Collins, Portis, good open field tackle by Brady James. Brady James is not one of the pro bowlers for the Dallas Cowboys. Certainly could make a case the kind of year that he's had leading this team in tackling and this is the number eight defense statistically in the NFL. And I think that's the key word there you use Joe is leading this team. I mean he has become the leader not only of this defensive unit but really for the entire football team. There are some others as well but. You know, he has had a great presence within this organization for the last several years and one of the true hardworking guys for this club. Delayed handoff to Liddell Betts. About a yard and a half shy of a first down picked up 11. Clinton Portis was last week's NFC Offensive Player of the Week. The job he did on the ground catching passes through a touchdown pass and that big win over Minnesota which put Washington in this position or if they win they will be in Seattle next week round one of the playoffs. So having a helmet issue that keeps him off the field on third and two. underneath passes caught the tackle is made but enough for a first down for Moss needed two, got three first down Washington I'll tell you what Chris Samuels I mean it's pro bowler against pro bowler and he is doing a very good job right now against DeMarcus Ware. DeMarcus there trying to use a little bit of a bull rush and and then mixes in some speed rush as well but Chris Samuels a guy who's been in the league eight years has seen it all. It's a good job on his part and then enough just enough to pick up the first down there on the reception. Somebody lost a helmet as Clinton Portis picks up one and that'll do it for the first quarter here in Landover. Redskins needing it. Redskins off to a good start. The football the lead seven nothing the NFL on Fox will continue after this. They emerged from the muck, hungry for New Campbell's chunky, fully loaded soup with extreme amounts of meat to feed an NFL size hunger. And yes, mom, they washed their hands before they ate. Introducing Campbell's chunky, fully loaded in the black can. Is it genius or the end of Western civilization? You decide. Is there a part of your husband's body that repulses you? The most controversial game show comes to America. The Moment of Truth, premiering Wednesday, January 23rd on Fox. You're watching Fox NFL Sunday. You ready for this? Yeah. Hello. Hi, honey. Hey, where are you guys? Uh, I got stuck at work. I can't pick him up from practice. You promised. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'll, I'll go get him. Okay. I look. She hung up on me. Just a little something. Find some of the best values of the year at the Lexus December to Remember sales event, now through January 2nd, at your Houston area Lexus dealer. Now's the time to save big during the Ford 100-hour sales event. Just announced, get an additional $1,000 bonus cash on top of all existing offers. Only hours remain to get F-150 with up to 6,500 cash back. Or choose Super Duty and pocket up to 5,000 in cash savings. That's 6,500 on F-150 or five grand on Super Duty. Time is running out, and so's your chance to get an additional $1,000 bonus cash. The 100-hour sales event ends January 2nd, so stop by your Texas Ford dealer today. the most magical time of the year. Experience advanced performance and technology at Acura's Drive Home for the Holidays sales opportunity. Take advantage of attractive financing on all Acura models for well-qualified customers. The plan is set. We leave tonight for the greatest escape in television history. Go. 
Prison Break returns with all new episodes Monday, January 14th on Fox. Second quarter, 7 to nothing, Washington. Troy said it at the beginning of our telecast that Joe Gibbs told us this is the most important game since I've come back. On the heels of a season which has seen an inordinate amount of injuries, tough losses, and then the death of Sean Taylor. He has rallied this club. Clinton Portis. Fabini out in front of him. Ken Hamlin on the tackle, a gain of 10 plus and another first down for the Redskins. Yeah, you said uh, Randy Thomas went down earlier in the season and they replaced him with Jason Fabini, who came over from the Dallas Cowboys this season, number 69. And, you know, he leads the way for Clinton Portis. And this is one of the few times where you'll ever see Clinton Portis actually stay behind his blockers time after time. When you watch him, he's so impatient as a runner. He wants to get going. And he doesn't want to wait on any of the linemen that are out in front of him. Oftentimes, he'll be the guy leading the charge. Collins, Moss, what a reach and a catch. Fantastic catch by Santana Moss, 36 yards. Great catch by Santana Moss. He gets a step on Jock Reeves, a ball that's laid out. Oh, that should come back. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it might have hit the ground there. And then Wade Phillips is definitely going to challenge it. He got the red flag out. That definitely looked like it hit the ground. A great effort by Moss, but couldn't secure it as it just came through. Dallas is challenging and was the clearly on the field incomplete. That it was a That'll be a good challenge there by the Dallas Cowboys. A great job there still by Santana Moss trying to pull that one in. Just was not able to get his other hand up there to secure it all the way to the ground. Challenge will get the call when we come back. Okay, what's a three-letter word for... Honey, would you run out and get me something crunchy? Crunchy. And chewy? Crunchy and chewy? And cheesy. Crunchy, chewy, cheesy. Crunchy, chewy, cheesy. And melty. Given to your cravings, it's Taco Bell's Cheesy Gordita Crunch, and it's only around for a limited time. Get yours before they're gone. ignore. Rob? You know, Verizon Wireless still has lots of really great phones on sale. Got myself a Venus with a touchscreen. The holidays aren't over yet. Because some of the season's hottest phones are up to 50% off, like the Samsung U620, perfect for Vcast Mobile TV, just $49.99. Or get the Moto Q Music, just $99.99. Verizon Wireless. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by the car you can't ignore, the all-new Chevy Malibu. By WebMD, better information, better health. By Samsung, the official HDTV of the NFL. And by Visa. Visa makes it easier to get ready for game day. Life takes Visa. We'll get the call from Scott Green. After reviewing the play, the receiver did not maintain possession of the ball. The ball hit the ground. It'll be second and 10 on the 41-yard line. Please reset the game clock to 14:26. Jack Reeves was on the coverage, but Ken Hamlin knew immediately to throw the challenge flag. Yeah, it looked like Santana Moss when he was over there talking with Todd Collins on the sidelines during the review that, that he actually thought that he had 
he had had both arms underneath that but a great effort on his part and you know he's been such a big part of why they've had the success here over the last few weeks I mean he's created some big plays it's amazing how much better he's been able to play now that he's healthy he's battled injury throughout most of the season second and ten this one is batted away trying to set up a screen for Portis third and ten it was Todd Collins who's been looking for Santana Moss a lot over the past couple of weeks he said when he doesn't get the ball you can just see he's like he's ready to burst so every time he <laughs> drops back he's looking for number eighty nine and he almost hit him for thirty six moments ago yeah and, and he's done a good job of getting the ball in his hands and he's done a good job of getting the ball into Clinton Portis's hands and I think that's one of the biggest difference offensively between this offense quarterback by Todd Collins as opposed to Jason Campbell is they have been able to create bigger plays and get the ball down the field. That's one of the reasons why they've scored more points. Four man rush good pocket for Collins who finds Moss there he is first down Washington 21 yards. Well I think they've targeted the guy they're going to go after it's Jock Reeves 35 you're going to see Santana Moss here on a square end and he just turns him loose they were in two man coverage and Jock Reeves does not continue to stay with Santana Moss and that's what created the big void there in the middle of the field that takes it to the Dallas 38 a game break is coming your way. to the air on this wet day. Clinton Portis makes a move and another down to the 20 with another first down for the Redskins. Let's go for a game break. Here's Kurt Menefee. The Vikings and Broncos Jake Cutler finds Brandon Marshall for the score and Denver goes on top of Minnesota seven to three and I'm sure you know Joe that if Minnesota loses the Redskins make it into the playoffs regardless of what happens in their game against Dallas. Yeah but that takes some of the drama out of what we're watching here today with the Cowboys and the Redskins with a six and nine Broncos now leading Minnesota. Vidal Betts. Very close to the 15. They'll mark him at the 16. You know, I know when we talked with Joe Gibbs as to whether or not he would be scoreboard watching, and he said, absolutely not. You don't get any help in this league. But, you know, he got help in the earlier game with New Orleans losing. And, you know, I'm sure somebody's keeping an eye on that Minnesota game. You know, it probably will go down to the wire. But if for some reason Denver was able to build a pretty good lead, I mean, you've got to believe that the Redskins then would start trying to rest a few players of their own if possible. They play next week. The Cowboys are off. That's nowhere to go. In fact, went backward a half yard. Marcus Spears on the tackle for the Dallas Cowboys, and they'll bring up third down. You know, the other thing I thought that was interesting in, in visiting with Joe Gibbs, Joe was was when he talked about Todd Collins, and I said, "Are you surprised that he's played as well as what he's been able to play?" I mean, it's a it's an amazing story. And he said, well, yeah, I mean, I'd watch him in preseason. And he always played great in preseason, but I, I just thought it was because he was going against such inferior talent that maybe he couldn't do it if, in fact, he was a starter. But he has played just like he had been playing when he got his chances in August. Third down and seven. Collins in trouble, throws it away. Cowboys want to know in what direction. And who was close to it as far as a receiver? Did it get to the line of scrimmage? The answer is no, and they throw a flag. Yeah, I think that was the good call, too, by the official, because obviously Todd Potential Collins. Potential grounding, offense, also loss of down, fourth down. You know, he's just trying to avoid the sack. I don't think the ball even got to the line of scrimmage, and, and more importantly, I don't think he was outside the tackle box. I mean, you take a look at him, and, you know, he's still within the pocket there, and then the ball does not cross the line of scrimmage. So no matter how you look at it, a good call by the officials with intentional grounding. So it brings up four down, and it will send Sean Sweezum onto the field to attempt a 46-yard field goal. Okay, this obviously, guy. there's nothing a given on a day like this. No, no, there's not. And I was going to say that 
you know this guy is having himself a heck of a season his first year as being the full time place kicker is, has kicked extremely well grew up in Canada used to the cold I snap the kick is good 46 yards from Sweezum whose strong season continues good job by Derek Frost to take the high snap get it down get it up Sweezum did the rest 10 zip Redskins. The biggest games are decided by the smallest details. That's why Samsung imagined an LCD HD TV with twice the frames per second for exceptional Challenge. motion clarity. The decision is clear. Samsung, the official HD TV of the NFL. What will get an NFL fan's heart racing this holiday season? Saving hundreds on a new Samsung HD TV and getting a $100 gift certificate to NFLshop.com. Samsung, the official HD TV of the NFL. She had a terrible cold. Terrible. I was in pain. I couldn't sleep. Migraines, mysterious stomach aches, flu, asthma, cold, strep throat. I got in a lot of sicknesses. I'm always looking to see what kind of medication I can take, what category it is. Now we're on WebMD all the time to find the right doctor. Check my prescriptions. I had hives one time and it was like, what am I allergic to? Organized information. Medically reviewed. So we trust it. I don't need millions of answers. Just one good answer. WebMD. Better information. Better health. And now, another priceless pep talk from Peyton Manning. I heard you're bummed about driving a minivan. That's okay. It's okay. Is it at least like a sport turbocharged minivan or something? No? All right. Here's what you're going to do. Take that baby out and paint some flames on it. Or get a cool decal. Maybe like a number 18 on the side or something. Yeah. You're feeling me. You love it. Go to Priceless.com for a personalized pep talk you can send to a friend. In two weeks. The future begins now. The most anticipated new television series of the year will knock you on your own. No one is ever safe. 300's Lena Headey stars in Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. The two-night premiere event begins two weeks from tonight on Fox. What has not been a good start for this Dallas offense. Romo has thrown an interception. They haven't been able to move the ball and I'll say again this has been anything but an impressive offense over the last three games. Detroit Philadelphia last week they got the win but didn't throw the ball well ran it well at Carolina. They trailed 10 nothing here today. As Sweezum drives it through the back of the end zone. How wet and nasty is it here today Romo. Having trouble just catching the football. Now we'll try and go throw it down by 10. The all new Chevy Malibu, the car you can't ignore. on PlayStation 3, starting at $3.99. Yeah, oh, that's a very mom question, but yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, enough. I miss you, baby. I miss you, too. Love you. Yeah, we love you. We tell everyone about the relief work you're doing, you know? Of course you do. Welcome to a network uh, that's bringing countries you, and families a little closer. It's been a while now. Cisco, welcome to the Human Network. We stopped selling the Whopper for one day to see what would happen. The, Whopper with the Whopper's been discontinued. I want your manager at the window when I get there, please. What happened was, people freaked. Get me a Whopper. 
next Sunday on Fox an NFC wild card game either Washington or Minnesota at Seattle or the New York Giants at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers check local listings we may know which game we're covering and consequently what day maybe the Redskins or Vikings will play next weekend by the end of this game down by 10 here's Dallas starting at their 20. And that skips in there to Fasano, and a penalty flag comes in. Reed Doughty was on Fasano's back, and it's against Doughty. Interference, defense, number 37, first down. You know, we see the rain coming down pretty good, and Tony Romo, who typically does not wear a glove in good conditions, he, he's wearing one today, and, and he works on it when he's back in Dallas whenever they do have inclement weather there and says he, he likes throwing with it. In fact, he likes throwing the, the, the ball in the wet rain because the receivers have the advantage just knowing where they're going. Julius Jones gets it just across the 30, a six-yard run. You know, it's the one thing that you see more and more quarterbacks go to, you know, in these types of conditions, throwing with a glove. And, you know, they've made such progress on how these things are made to where they're not as bulky as what they once were back when I was playing. Second and four. Romo, sideline, pass dropped. That's Sam Hurd out there. And it brings up third and four for Dallas. So Sean Springs in coverage there. I know going back to that first game against the Dallas Cowboys, Sean Springs pretty much went with Terrell Owens throughout that game. And Terrell Owens had a, had a great game then. Eight receptions, over 170 yards in the air. And, and Sean Springs today, I mean, obviously he's not going against anybody the caliber of Terrell Owens, but he has played well. He's had a good season. And he's playing well here over the last several weeks. Third down and four. Romo airs it out. There was interference on Terry Glenn, who gets flipped by LaRon Landry. Smoot was out there in coverage, and the two got tangled up. Yeah, they're going to get Smoot on this one. You're going to see Terry Glenn. He's going to start to the outside, and he's trying to run it out and up, but Smoot grabbed him beyond the five yards when the ball was in the air. Illegal contact. Defense, number 27. Five-yard penalty. Also automatic first down. So that's two defensive penalties on this possession by Dallas, and the last thing that the Cowboys want to see is what happened at the end of this play for a guy like Terry Glenn who can be a big weapon for them. He's undergone two procedures on his injured right knee, and he ends up getting literally flipped and landing on his upper back, and he doesn't look too good on the sideline. Julius Jones dropped in the backfield, a loss of one. You, know, you talk about Terry Glenn and getting his first action here today. It's it's been amazing, really, that that this offense has been as explosive as what it's been, you know, this season without Terry Glenn in the lineup. I mean, you think back to last year, really, he was probably their best wide receiver. I know in talking with defensive coaches, when they'd get ready to go up against the Cowboys, they always said, "Hey, Terry Glenn's the guy we're worried about. He's the guy creating all the big plays." You know, you think about the year that Terrell Owens has had. If you had Terry Glenn. Alongside of that, how much better would they be? Second and 11. Pressure on Romo, who sidesteps Fletcher, throws for Hurd. And the pass out of bounds, caught out of bounds, incomplete. Well, here's the tail end of it. See if he's able to make the catch. They say he was out of bounds. He makes the catch oh. there, left knee's in. Left knee's in, left elbow was in. And we'll get another challenge from Dallas. That's Joe Gibbs, who was right there. The Washington Redskins head coach. And 
the challenge flag has been thrown by Wade Phillips. Dallas is challenging the ruling on the field that it was an incomplete pass. We'll take a break. We'll get the call when we come back. And when you look at the left knee, and the left elbow of Sam Hurd, this could go the Cowboys way. A 31 yard pass by Romo to Hurd. Saints, Yes, I want to be in that number. I the Saints, Visa makes it easier for NFL fans to get ready for game day. Life takes Visa. In today's luxury game, the question isn't whether or not your car has available features like a 40 gig hard drive that isn't about sunroofs or Sapelli wood accents, pop-up nav screens, or any of that. No, the real question is, when you turn your car on, does it return the favor? A brand new tradition is coming to Fox. Like the holidays, it brings family and friends together. Unlike the holidays, there's a lie detector test. Is there a part of your husband's body that repulses you? Want to find out who's been naughty or nice? Have you ever added your underwear to look more well endowed? Then you gotta watch this. Actually, the answer is yes. The Moment of Truth premieres Wednesday, January 23rd on Fox. American Idol is back. Are you ready to face the music? How do I get you alone? You wouldn't. American Idol, the two-hour premiere, Tuesday, January 15th on Fox. Here's a call from Scott Green. After reviewing the play, the receiver had possession of the ball with one knee inbounds. That's a completed catch. Dallas is not charged with a timeout. One knee, one elbow equals two feet, and it's a completion on the challenge, and it's good for Dallas. Well, you see Lennon Fletcher had a chance at Romo, but he does what he's been doing all season long. I mean, a free blitzer, and yet he's able to make him miss and still get this throw off. Now, he was open because of the bite here by Fred Smoot. You see there a double move to the outside by Hurd, and a great job by Tony Romo just keeping that play alive. How about the catch by Hurd at the Washington 29. Play action from Romo over the middle. Hurd again. First down inside the 15 to the 13 yard line. LaRon Landry on the tackle for the Redskins. Yeah, you know, you go play action, all of a sudden you get those linebackers biting up, and then you got that area of the field. They're in man coverage to where all of a sudden you've got a lot of space. You beat the guy covering you, and then you're creating separation. And, and again, I mean, a good job by Hurd making the play. Marion Barber, a pro bowler, just pushes the pile. Inches inside the 10 yard line. Now, Barber checks into this game 19 yards shy on the ground of his first 1,000 yard rushing season. And for a guy who is not the quote unquote starter, he has the bigger impact at running back for the Dallas Cowboys, and he is headed to Honolulu. Yeah, and, and rightfully so. I mean, the guy's just had a great season, and even though, yeah, he's not the starter, for all practical purposes, he is. And one of the main reasons he's not is because he's so accommodating and unselfish that he's fine with the fact that Julius Jones starts each week. Romo looking right all the way, throws caught by Fasano. Not much. In fact, no gain on the play. And with 7.49 left in the half, and Dallas down by 10, it is going to be third down and seven with the ball at the 10. You know, and third downs is really where this Redskins defense has, has excelled. They've been good all season long, but you know, really over the last five weeks, I mean, they've just been so stingy on this down. 
on and again that's that's really one of the primary reasons why they've been able to keep a lot of people out of the end zone here over the last four to five ball games. Romo with plenty of time throws incomplete looking for Witten broken up by Doughty. It's fourth down. Yo, know, they're trying to get the ball here to Jason Witten. I mean, Jason Witten is a few catches shy, as I said, of getting to 100 or 100 receptions. He runs that outside move, then takes it to the post. Couldn't get open, but he follows Romo then, you know, to that side where Romo was scrambling out and just unable to make a play. Good job defensively by the Redskins down here in the red zone. The rookie pro ball kicker, Nick Falk, drives it low and wide. And a fight breaks out. After the miss. Well, I'm not sure who exactly it was, Joe, but but someone there with the Cowboys looked like it might have been Leonard Davis just grabbed one of the Redskins. Leonard Davis is right in here. just slung him to the ground as you see right there Demetric Evans so they break up that little skirmish a miss and a 28 yard drive by Folt wasn't even close still 10 nothing Washington on January 4th that's not my ringtone when the call goes straight to voicemail your world that's your voice go straight to hell <laughs> Call came in two nights ago. You get a voicemail. You hear your death. And then you die. Why? One missed call. Ready PG-13. Only in theaters January 4th. Bud Light is brewed to give you everything you want in a beer. Never-ending refreshment, superior drinkability, and now, the ability to walk through walls. Told you we weren't going to get in. What, what are we going to do now? What, what, what are we going to do now? We're going to do this. Not good. The ability to walk through walls no longer available in Bud Light. The endless refreshment, however, remains. Bud Light keeps it coming. I wonder where Jake is! Emerged from the muck, hungry for New Campbell's chunky, fully loaded soup with extreme amounts of meat to feed an NFL size hunger. And yes, mom, they washed their hands before they ate. Introducing Campbell's chunky, fully loaded in the black can. Go. Prison Break returns with all new episodes Monday, January 14th on. I am not the enemy. I was sent here to protect him. Judgment Day is coming. Well, as you look at a replay, good snap, good hold, and Nick Folt just hit it fat. He thought for a moment like it might have been tipped, but I don't think anybody got a hand on it. It just was hit poorly. A wet football squirted out to the right, and it's still 10 nothing. 28-yard try is missed. Hand off to Portis. Side steps one tackler and picks up four. And so the Washington Redskins, Troy Aikman, as we welcome you inside our booth, the Washington Redskins are doing what they set out to do here. They have the early lead, and so far they have held this Dallas Cowboys offense off the scoreboard. Yeah, they, I mean, they've done a great job, and we knew coming in that they were going to have the energy and the emotion behind them. I mean, certainly they know what's at stake, and in Dallas, you never know how a team like this is going to react when they come in and they have nothing to play for, and, you know, yet there are some starters out here, obviously, that are, that are still in the game, and how much longer they'll be in there, probably not much longer but I think you got to be pleased right now if you're the Washington Redskins or you're Joe Gibbs as to how this group has come out and the job that they've done and there is nobody who doubts the leadership abilities of a guy like Joe Gibbs no matter what criticism he has gone through this year with all of the issues with the timeouts and uh, play calling not getting plays in in time and all of the 
questions about his second tour of duty here with the Redskins. There is nobody better in the face of a crisis as a leader than Joe Gibbs. He's done it with his own health history, more health history in his family with his wife and his grandson is going through leukemia. He has done it in years past with the Redskins. He's never had to go, ne never had to go through the brutal murder of one of his players, but getting this team back together and playing with heavy hearts after the loss of Sean Taylor he deserves a lot of credit for not letting this team quit that one's knocked out of the hands of Collins and recovered by Spears Demarcus Ware knocked it out Tank Johnson got his hands on it not Spears on the recovery and Dallas will take over at the Washington 18 yard line Demarcus Ware once again is everywhere. Well Demarcus Ware just goes right through Chris Samuels and is able to come in on the backside there of Todd Collins and you know that was one of those plays to where as a seven step drop they're trying to get a big play down the field and because of the pressure on the outside by Demarcus Ware you see him there go right through Chris Samuels just not enough time in order to pull that one off. So now the challenge flag has just been thrown out by Joe Gibbs. And the question obviously is was it an empty hand going forward if so it's a fumble the ball was still in the hand going forward it's an incomplete pass Washington is challenging the ruling on the field that it was a fumble so we take a closer look from behind yeah, and that's what I thought I thought a ball came out before the hand was going forward I mean that's that's the empty hand that you referred to Joe if the if the arm is going forward and there's no ball in the hand. Then it's an empty hand and therefore it's a fumble. You know so I think Cowboys here are going to maintain possession but you know like I say when you when you try to you know yeah you want to create some big plays down the field they've been able to do that you know here over the last several ball games but when you've got a pass rusher like Demarcus Ware you, know, you got to be a little careful and they've not given Chris Samuels much help there on the outside you know whenever they have dropped back and passed and you know, we saw Chris Samuels do a pretty good job at that time Demarcus Ware got the better of him. Well this one could very well stay with the Dallas Cowboys it looked to both of us like it was an empty hand and should be a fumble recovered by Tank Johnson that's the bad news for Washington the good news is in Denver the Broncos have just gone ahead of the Vikings 14 the play, to 3 the ruling on the field stands the quarterback lost possession of the ball prior to his arm coming forward. Washington is charged with a timeout. So Dallas does keep the football and they take over at the 18 yard line of the Redskins. But as I was saying it's 14 to 3 now Denver leading at home over Minnesota and if the Vikings lose it doesn't matter what the Redskins do here against Dallas they're in the playoffs. gets it picks up one let's go for a game break here's Kurt Menefee Joe sorry to take the drama away from you but uh, Denver and Minnesota as Jake Cutler finding the tight end Tony Scheffler and Denver is in firm control of this one the way they're playing 14 3 right now over Minnesota hey I'm just doing my job Joe Bye, and we appreciate that Joe you're still on Kurt's thunder I mean you're making these announcements before we go on these game breaks you like that, don't you? Kind of. <laughs> Second down and nine for Dallas. Marion Barber. And Barber goes backward. Prelo, the first one to get his hands on him. Prelo was inactive last week with a bad hamstring. A loss of two, third and 11 coming up. I'm going to say it again. The Dallas Cowboys have nothing to play for here today, but offensively, I think they're trying to avoid their fourth very poor day moving the football. They're not doing anything here against the Redskins. Well, they're not doing much. You know, Tony Romo, however, he's got six completions, and I think that once he gets his seventh, I would be surprised if he comes back for another series after that happens. But, you know, you don't want to come into a game and then not play well and then feel worse about yourself once the game ends. This pass is broken up by London Fletcher intended for Jason Witten and after taking over at the 18 yard line the drive stalls with an overall loss of one. 
You know, we talk about Santana Moss and Chris Cooley and Clinton Portis on the offensive side of the ball and what they mean to that unit. On the defensive side, you could say that London Fletcher is that guy, and he has been throughout the entire season. From day one, he's been the leader. He's given this team a real sense of direction, and he's got them playing awfully good football. 37-yard try is drilled by Nick Folk, and it's a seven-point game. So we look ahead and talk about the BCS Bowl Bash this week. The All-State Bowl Bash comes to Fox beginning for the AT&T Cotton Bowl Classic followed by the All-State Sugar Bowl, the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl, the FedEx Orange Bowl, and then of course concluding with the All-State BCS National Championship game between LSU and Ohio State. The All-State Bowl Bash begins New Year's Day early only on Fox. Isn't it amazing how the bowls have changed over the years? I mean, it used to January 1 was the, the big day, and, you know, who would ever would win a certain game would then be crowned the national champion, and then it went to January 2nd. That seemed like a big deal, and you know what? This year it's January 7th. Just keep pushing it further and further back, closer to the time when pitchers and catchers report for spring training. <laughs> You know, I think you're right, though, Joe, about the Cowboys, at least offensively, and, you know, not having been as sharp as what they had been in the first of the year, the middle of the year here over the last couple of weeks, and, and not really doing all that much, you know, here today. That's got to be a little bit concerning for them as they go next week into their bye and then into that first game in the divisional round. But you always want to be playing your best football when you hit the playoffs, and it, it does not appear that that's going to be the case for the Cowboys this year. Fulk kicks it away. Rock Cartwright waits for it from outside the 10. Full head of steam, and Cartwright crosses the 30. 19 yard return. This is a big rivalry. Obviously the 1976 game last game of the regular season Redskins were nine and four needed a win to make the playoffs. Cowboys led 14 to 10 after Butch Johnson's 43 yard touchdown catch from Staubach and Calvin Hill scored in a 15 yard touchdown run in the fourth quarter. Redskins went on to win it 27 14 and there is Calvin Hill who played with both of these organizations. In the 60s and 70s. Starting at their own 31, Clinton Portis with room to run. Picked up 10, first down Washington. With under five to play here in the half, and the Redskins leading by seven. Well, it's just a good job there by that offensive line on that left side. And you know, Clinton Portis. You know, when you look at what he's been able to do this year, I know his yard per carry average is down. It's 3.9 yards per carry coming into this ball game. And, you know, he's, as you said earlier, Joe, I mean, he's been able to battle through the injuries, and they've been hard-earned yards that he's had all year. Sellers upset that he missed a block as Clint Portis picks up two. Marcus Ware on the tackle. Portis missed all of the offseason and basically all of training camp with tendonitis and a bursa sack problem in his knee. And so in the words of Joe Gibbs he has been playing to get himself in shape and he has started to feel better even though the numbers don't really back it up here in December but feeling healthier as this season has grown old. Yeah and he does so much more than just run the football. I mean he's good out of the backfield as a receiver also an excellent blocker. He gets it on second and eight and the tackle is made by Burnett after a gain of four. Third down coming up for Todd Collins, who has gone over 10 years without throwing an interception. In fact, since the last time Todd Collins threw an interception, Troy Aikman, you have thrown 34. <laughs> well, I played against him when he was still playing and starting for the Buffalo Bills, and and he beat us that day. You know, they're in '97 in Buffalo, and. He reminded me of that. I, I thought it was Jim Kelly that I played against. He reminded me of that the other day in our production. He says, no, nope, that was me. Third down and four. Collins throws. The pass is caught by Cooley. And it depends on the spot. Cooley is forced out, and they are going to mark it. It looks just short of first down yardage. Roy Williams made the stop, and it's well short, about a yard short. 
if they're going to put it where the line judge has his feet and the punt team will come on for Washington. You know there's been a lot of talk comparing this current Redskins team with the 05 team that went went on to win five games in a row and then made the playoffs and beat Tampa in the first round. I you know I think this team's probably a little bit better and I think Todd Collins is the reason why I mean they can still run the football but I think the way he has been able to play gives them a real opportunity if they're able to get in. Creighton lets it go over his head and thrash taps it down. They're going to mark it at the one. 49 yard punt perfectly placed by Derek Frost and well played by James Thrash. Cowboys have it at their one down seven. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Cadillac. Introducing the all new Cadillac CTS, the 2008 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Let's see. Gossip magazines, dark chocolate, Italian shoes, definitely a Kansas City ribeye, and pulling up to the boys club in one of these. These are just a few of my favorite things. to statefarm.com slash NFL. You could win a trip to the 2008 NFL Pro Bowl with the Your Game, Your Call getaway from State Farm. Go to statefarm.com slash NFL. You never know what part of the internet you'll need. The should you take sunblock part. The house traffic to the airport part. The what about an ocean view room part. Or the, can you really afford this, part. Which is why all the parts of the internet are on the iPhone. Special teams a big part of this one. We've seen Dallas... The rookie kicker Nick Folk miss on a 28 yard try now for Washington a perfect 49 yard punt by Derek Frost and Dallas starts at their own one. A minute 58 left in the half and Barber picks up a yard. James Thrash made the play down the field on the punt team for Washington. Yeah and as Joe Gibbs would say about James Thrash he's a true Redskin and you see the way that he's able to get down here and play and a guy who has been a starter in this league as a wide receiver and and he's not as involved in the passing game as what he has been in previous years whether it's been here or when he played with the Philadelphia Eagles and yet as a veteran to be involved in special teams and do the job that he has done. You know, those are the kind of guys that you like having on your squad. The defense for Washington comes up with a good play here. They'll probably spend one of their two remaining timeouts on defense. Try to get it back in second and nine. Out of the end zone, the pass off the hands of Witten. They don't need to spend a timeout. And it's third down and nine with a minute nine remaining in the half. And we talked a little bit about some of the milestones that some of these players have for the Dallas Cowboys and you know something that Wade Phillips was hoping that they would be able to achieve. Tony Romo needs one more completion to set the single season record and then you've got Jason Witten who came into this game needing six receptions to get to 100 only has one but it hasn't been from the lack of trying to get the ball to him. I mean they have tried they just have been unable to connect. delay a game which will just move the ball back a foot and a half you know Joe I think you always worry when you come into a game like this like the Dallas Cowboys are prior to the snap delay of game offense F 
the distance to the goal, third down. You know, in a game that doesn't matter and has no bearing on what's going to happen when they go into postseason play and in the talk all week, how much are your players going to play and, and all that, and, and you just don't want to go out and play sloppy football, but yet that's really what this team has played. I mean, they just have not looked very sharp. They're just kind of going through the motions. You know, I know you said, hey, you know, maybe they could get something going to where they come out of this game feeling better about themselves than they have the previous two games, but, you know, that's... That's not going to be the case. Third down and ten. Romo over the middle. Ball may have been tipped, and Patrick Creighton waiting for a pass that never got there. So now McBriar will have to punt literally out of the back of his own end zone. And this Dallas offense, Troy, that had five possessions, they have four first downs total, two of them coming on defensive penalties by. Greg Williams defense. Yeah, and, and let's give the Redskins defense some credit as well. Greg Williams, who has done a great job of putting together defensive schemes, did a tremendous job last week against Minnesota, holding down that running game. And he's done a good job again today with this Cowboys offense. Quick step and kick from McBriar and Antoine Randall L from the 45. The little room to maneuver. Burnett on the stop as Antoine Randall L. Got it inside the 45, and a penalty flag comes in on the tackle. Yeah, that was a pretty easy one there. Antoine Randall L. Kevin Burnett comes in, and he gets him right underneath the neck. I'm not sure he There's actually no got the. On the play. The tackler was tackled around the shoulder. Yeah, that was a that was a good job of picking up the flag because initially, you know, I saw what the official saw, and it looked like Burnett had definitely grabbed his face mask, but. You know, nice job on their part being able to pick up the flag and recognize that it was not. Visa halftime report. Coming up, Visa, proud sponsor of the NFL. Life takes Visa, and they will, the guys will get you caught up to date with everything that's gone on in week 17 around the NFL. A big game coming tonight, obviously, in the AFC. With Indianapolis at home against Tennessee. If Tennessee wins, they're in. If they lose, the Browns are in. Portis on the handoff gets nothing. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of people wondering how much of this no huddle offense Todd Collins knows because of his lack of playing, but yet he's been in this system for over seven years, and there's no question that he knows this no huddle and where to go with the football. Two timeouts remaining for Washington. Moss on the catch. First down inside the 35. Marked down at the 33, 25 seconds left, and two timeouts. Time to get something done for the Redskins. Yeah, and watch Santana Moss as he runs this route, comes back to the football, balls out. You know, Todd Collins does such a great job of anticipating the breaks by the wide receivers, and that's really what this offense is built around. Quarterback getting back, getting set up, getting the ball out of his hands, and he does it extremely well. You would never know watching him that it's been so long since he's played. We could have a booth review here on that catch. You know, every time Todd Collins thinks he makes a pretty good throw and a pretty good reception, it's getting reviewed. You know, the one question I would have if I'm the Redskins is was Moss forced out? Either way, it doesn't matter. We'll as long as he keeps play. control the of the on football. The field was a force out. Ooh, that ball comes out at the very end of what is now a 12-yard reception. And forget the feet and all that. He comes down going to the ground in the process of the catch and the ball comes out. Yeah it's interesting because didn't the official just say that the ruling on the field was that it was a force out. Right. Well, it wasn't it obviously was not a force out because both feet are down but a good job upstairs of reviewing the play to see if he maintained possession throughout the catch. So that's obviously now what they're what they're taking a look at. And as you know even on a force out. If that's the call they can review whether the catch was maintained out of bounds. That's right. Yeah so just so we're clear with the viewers they're not ruling whether or not it was a force out because that's not reviewable. They're only reviewing whether or not the ball came out at the end of the catch. Obviously it came out now you know how are they going to view that because it was so late before the ball came out. The 
again and it's said every week in the ad it happened last night in the Patriots Giants game in the act of a catch going to the ground you have to maintain possession of the ball through the end of the catch. And under those guidelines the ball coming out you can see this one come back. It's either a first and ten at the Dallas 33 with the catch or and this is important third and ten at the Dallas 45 for the Redskins if it's overturned and we'll get the call right now from Scott Green. After reviewing the play even if it's ruled force out the receiver must maintain possession throughout the course of the catch. He did not maintain possession. It is an incomplete pass. It'll be third down. Please reset the clock to 26 seconds. So with the reversal it's third and ten and the Redskins are out of field goal range at the moment back at the Dallas 45. With 26 seconds left and two timeouts on the scoreboard for Washington. Third down and ten. Four man rush Collins over the middle and the pass is caught at the 30 and a timeout will be taken <laughs> by the Redskins and this one is an iffy. Well yeah catch. and Santana Moss he got a little demonstrative after he was able to what appeared to be a catch. I mean this ball's low and did he get his arms underneath this one. Yes he did. But you're right Joe. I mean that that one was close as well. I, I'd be surprised if they don't at least take a booth review on this one as well. That replay angle there isn't as I don't think conclusive for a catch as the other but I would say the first angle this shows pretty clearly that the arms are underneath it. There's a little bobble in there but if the arms underneath it it's a catch and Washington is left with one timeout and a first down at the Dallas 30. Well the one timeout is big because now they can do anything they want to do and they can work the middle of the field still have time to get the field goal team on use the timeout with no problem. Collins throws sideline what a throw and catch it's Rache Caldwell out of bounds at the 11 a 19 yard completion and great timing. Yeah I mean that, it's really amazing that Todd Collins has been able to develop this you know with these wide receivers. I mean considering the fact that he got no work with him. I mean he spent a little time with them in training camp but since that time did not get any throws with any of these receivers with the exception of about a 10 minute period period each day in individual drills. With a timeout they can afford to run it. Betts is down inside the five under 10 seconds to play and Washington will spend a timeout with nine seconds to go. They can take a shot into the end zone. But if you run the ball and don't get it without any timeouts remaining you're not going to get a chance to do anything more so you have to expect Collins to drop back and throw it into the end zone. Here. Yeah I, I don't I don't think that that anybody down there is going to have enough confidence to try to run this one in because you're right if you do and you don't make it then the half is over and so they'll take a shot here and see if they can't get somebody into the back of the end zone you know to where they can make a play otherwise just settle for the field goal but what a great drive here by the Washington Redskins and a good job by Todd Collins you know being smart with the football knowing where he's going with it and getting it to the right people. 73 total yards for the Dallas offense. And what has been a very poor first half and now on second and two up by seven. Here's this new star in the NFL Todd Collins under center. Out of the backfield it's Betts and it's a good thing for Washington he did not make the catch because the half would have expired and with that five seconds remaining 
the field goal unit comes on for Washington. Yeah I don't I don't understand that one at all. I mean you're right Joe if he makes the catch there then Jock Reeves is there to make the tackle and then the half ends. I, I don't know why they weren't working you know into the end zone for one shot at a touchdown. They were fortunate that that was incomplete. This is a chip shot 21 yard try. And Sweezum is two for two on the day. We told you that the Visa halftime report is coming up. Visa, proud sponsor of the NFL. Life takes Visa. And while we've talked a lot about Washington, think about Dallas. And this has been a poor day for this offense. And Tony Romo, if this is the end of his day, down by 10 in a game that is meaningless. That offensive group will not be pleased with the results and maybe even the effort here with one second left in the half with what they've been able to do or not do in Landover, Maryland. Yeah, I think they've got to be a little disappointed with the way it went here in the first half. Granted, they're without Terrell Owens, and he's a big part of what they do offensively, but they had the rest of their players, you know, with the exception of Andre Girard there at center, and yet they weren't able to really do much with it. And so. You know they'll go in at half. They're not going to feel great about the way in which they played. I can't imagine Tony Romo or Jason Witten coming back into this game in the second half. At some point you got to say you know what records are great but let's just let's just get over to the sidelines and, and get ready for the playoffs and let some of these other guys get out on the field and, and see what they're able to do once they get into the divisional round. So Tony Romo who set the Dallas Cowboys record for passing yardage in the season in a season touchdown passes will tie Danny White's record if he does not complete another ball. And that's how the first half will come to an end as Bobby Carpenter falls on the football. Penalty flag is laying out there on the field. It's an offside against Washington. But the Cowboys are already headed into the dressing room. Tony Romo Offside on the kickoff. Penalty is declined. That's the end of the first half. Tony Romo at the moment is tied with Danny White. 334 completions, which White set back in 1983. And Wade Phillips wants to have this clarified well, he's, by Scott Green. Yeah, he's wondering who declined it, I think. I mean, he wants to have him kick it again. He was trying to get his guys out of the locker room tunnel and back out onto the field. You can see Wade Phillips say right there, we'll take the play. So he's willing to back Washington either back to the 25 and re kick or tack on five yards at the end of the recovery by Bobby Carpenter. And it would be interesting to see where the ball was recovered by Carpenter. Then he might have a shot at a long field goal. These players are like come on coach we finally got in where it's nice and warm. So the Cowboys and this is a rule that's been in for two years now have their pick they could make them re kick five yards back or tack on five yards at the end of the return in essence Carpenter flopping on the football. And you could end up with a long field goal try by Nick Folk who's got a get ready again. Yeah and he is getting ready. So his career long happened in the game winner at Buffalo when Romo turned the ball over six times that night but got his team in a position to win the game on a Monday night. And we're not getting a whole lot of information here from Scott Green as to where the football is going to be placed or what decision the Cowboys have made. Right now, Romo is on the field and they might take one shot at the end zone. Well, I'm wondering who it was that initially declined the penalty on the behalf of the, of the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, that was the initial ruling offsides there by the Redskins and then the penalty declined. This would be a 54 by yard rule. try. A penalty on a kick by the kicking team can be added to the end of the play. We will enforce the five yard offside penalty and by rule we will extend one untimed down. 
So you have one untimed down and right now the Cowboys have their offense on the field and they would rather instead of trying a long field goal. Take a shot at the end zone. They are marking the ball. And they still haven't placed it down but it's near the 35 yard line which on a typical day is within range. Now they're marking it at the 36. So a 54 yard try. Folk is hit as we said from 53 but he will watch as Romo will take a shot. You would think at the end zone. Well I'm surprised they don't have more defenders deeper than what they have them right now because the only chance is to throw it into the end zone. <laughs> Romo first needs the time he doesn't get it and it's a sack for Chris Wilson. And all that happens with that untimed down is Romo is exposed and he comes off wincing. That's not a good sight for the Dallas Cowboys. He's in pain and Chris Wilson gets to put an exclamation point on the end of a very good first half for the Washington defense. Well that's a concern. I mean there's no question Joe you see him coming off. I mean he he, he hurt something it appeared now how serious it is we'll see. So that's it for the first half. Visa halftime coming up 13 three Redskins at the half. The matchup no one could have predicted takes center stage. The undefeated Warriors look to follow in Boise State's footsteps and shock the world. But SEC Power Georgia has their sights set on finishing their season with a huge New Year's Day victory. Hawaii, Georgia. The All-State Sugar Bowl, New Year's Day, only on Fox. It's the final days of the Chevy Red Tag event, where the price on the tag is the price you'll pay. And for a limited time, get $1,000 bonus cash on an 08 Silverado half-ton crew cab, which comes with the safety and security of OnStar standard for one year. Or choose 1.9% financing for 60 months for qualified buyers on every 2008 Silverado half-ton crew cab. Hurry, the Chevy Red Tag event ends January 2nd. Click on Chevy.com, then see your Texas Chevy dealer. Your king needs you. My world, the king's arm is expected to protect the kingdom, not just the castle. On January 11th, he will fight for vengeance. King called upon you to face death. He will fight for love. Tonight we dress our wounds. He will fight. Bury our dead. To save all he knows. Tomorrow we gouge evil from its shell. In the name of the king. Rated PG-13. In theaters Friday, January 11th. Something strange happens to people this time of year. They look for reasons to buy a new Toyota. We call it the Toyotathon Phenomenon. Just announced, the 08 Toyota Tundra is Motor Trend's 2008 Truck of the Year. 2008 Tundra's in stock now. Or choose any new 07 Tundra and get 4,000 cash back. There's never been a better time to get the new Toyota you've always wanted. Or needed. Hurry in. The Toyotathon Phenomenon is going on now. Fox 26 Morning News, covering the news that impacts our community. Now's the time to save big during the Ford 100-hour sales event. Just announced, get $1,000 cash back on an 08 Ford Edge. Or drive one today for only $2.99 a month. And that's with Sync, in-car technology that lets you voice activate your MP3 player, Bluetooth-enabled phone, and more. Time is running out, and so's your chance to get an Edge for only $2.99 a month. Or with $1,000 cash back. The 100-hour sales event ends January 2nd. So stop by your Texas Ford dealer today. The Visa Halftime Report is sponsored by Visa, proud sponsor of the NFL. Life takes Visa. And we welcome you to the Visa Halftime Report. Kurt Menefee along with Terry Howie and Jimmy. And take it away, TB. Clinton Portis, you are some kind of special running back. Joe Gibbs will tell everybody that. Well, break a little tackle. There you go. 23-yard touchdown run. It is Washington Redskins on top of the Dallas Cowboys. Halftime score 13-3. 
Vikings at Denver. Jay Cutler out of Vanderbilt. Corner of the end zone. Beautiful throw. Brandon Marshall, three 100-yard receiving games on the year, makes that catch of 15 yarders, 7-3 Broncos. And then it is Tony Scheffler, two-yard reception from Cutler, 14-3 Broncos on top of the visiting Minnesota Vikings who need to win with a Washington loss to make the playoffs. Elsewhere, Arizona cruising over St. Louis, that one at half. And Kansas City trying to end an eight-game losing streak and Herman Edwards return to New York. San Diego at Oakland. Phillip Rivers back, moves, fires down the right side, corner of the end zone, leaping catch by Chris Chambers. Beautiful job. It's San Diego at half. It's 14 to 10. I'm sorry, now early in the third quarter, 14 to 10 Chargers over the Raiders. Pittsburgh at Baltimore. Corey Roth going to go outside, feels the pressure, cuts back against the seam inside, breaks a couple of tackles. 32 yards later, touchdown Baltimore Ravens on top of the Pittsburgh Steelers, 20 to 7 early in the third quarter. Ravens trying to end that nine game losing streak. Chicago gets a punt return for a touchdown and a 55 yard reception from Devin Hester to knock off New Orleans. Green Bay finishes 13 and 3 on the season. They clinched the number two seed a couple weeks ago. Meanwhile, Cleveland will just watch Tennessee tonight to see whether or not they are going into the playoffs. Carolina hands Tampa Bay its second straight loss to end the season, but the Bucks had their playoff positioning all sewn up. Meanwhile, Atlanta ends a six-game losing streak, winning a high-scoring affair over Seattle. Houston finishes 8-8 eight eight for the first time in franchise history. Two kick returns for scores by Andre Davis in that one. The Eagles finish up the season at 500, and Miami finishes 1-15 and 15 as Bill Parcells watched in person for the first time today. But let's get back to Washington and Dallas. Jimmy, in the standings, this game means nothing for the Cowboys. But what about the decision at the end of the first half? Well, you could have gone either way as far as trying to kick the field goal. 54 yards probably should have done that. The way this team's playing, it was a good thought as far as you going out there and trying to beat the Redskins. But the way they're playing, they're not into it. Only 63 total yards, only four first downs. Hey, get Romo out of there. Get the good plays there, out of there. They're not going to win this game because their head's not into it. Let's make sure we don't get anybody hurt. That's the point. What's, what is your frame of mind during the yeah. week in preparation going into this game? It's not as much as Dallas hasn't shown up as much as how much Washington has shown up yeah. to play. And it's been a continuation of the last three and weeks. You saw Roma walk off and it looks he like more he's hurt. He he get him out of there. All right. Some of you will be yeah. getting local news. Others will have more highlights for you as the Visa Halftime continues. The Visa Halftime Report is sponsored by Visa, proud sponsor of the NFL. Life takes Visa. Visa makes it easier for NFL fans to get ready for game day. Life takes Visa. Fox Sunday is celebrating the end of the year, and the Simpsons are inviting everyone. And you have to come sober. American sober or Irish sober? Then, after King of the Hill, Family Guy asks, would you rather spend your holidays like Chris? I'm taking a sabbatical to focus on my pottery. How's that working out? Not good, Meg. Not good. Or like Stewie. I'm having a magical aerial adventure because my family has disposable income. Followed by American Dad. It all starts at 8, 7 Central, tonight on Fox. We want big. The biggest events this January are on Fox. Crazy. Kick off New Year's Week with the VCS on Fox. Sunday, January 13th. What? TV's most anticipated new series premieres, Terminator, The Sarah Connor Chronicles. Crazy. On Tuesday the 15th, nothing is bigger than the American Idol premiere. Crazy. And Wednesday the 23rd, the most controversial show ever, The Moment of Truth. This January, the biggest events, the boldest network, Fox. Every year, about this time, something magical happens. The Red Tags come out for the GMC Red Tag event. Look for the Red Tag and your chance to get the best price of the season on 2008 GMC models. Get 1.9% APR for 60 months on an 08 Sierra Crew Cab. Plus, buy or lease any new 2008 XM equipped GMC and get one full year of XM service. That's 170 channels of music, sports, and more. See your GMC dealer by January 2nd. This is a Fox 26 news break. Happy holidays. I'm Keith Calkins. A sports and weather update. A slice of history for your Houston Texans. Happy holidays and happy returns for Andre Davis. He goes the distance not once but twice. Two kickoff returns for touchdowns. Texans beat a half-hearted Jacksonville bunch. It is their first ever non-losing season. 
the complete wrap tonight on Sports Extra. Your Rockets can close out the year with a bang. Yao worked over the Raptors last night, 17 of his 25 in the second half. Now back-to-back -back wins. They are break-even for the season. How are they doing it without Mr. McGrady? The answer is tonight at 10 o'clock. Also on Sports Extra, an extreme high-five to the high school football hotshots state championships and championship effort and attitude all around. You won't want to miss that. Plus, what does Texan assistant Mike Sherman now say about fixing his full focus on the Texas Aggies? We'll have it. Let's bring in John Dawson. All right, Keith, thanks. I tell you, the weather here in the Houston area, much better than the weather up in FedEx Field if you're watching the game today. About 40 degrees up there, wet. Oh, man, today is beautiful, though, here locally. Temperatures pushing 70 degrees for our highs across the area. Absolutely gorgeous. Lots of sunshine. Those clear skies will allow us to cool down pretty nicely in the overnight. Look for the low temperatures around 43 degrees. And again, we're going to hold off on any rain. Now, we do have a cold front moving through on New Year's Day tomorrow, but it's going to be in the evening when the actual front moves through and we won't actually even feel the really cold air until Monday, New Year's Day. So again, warming up to 73 for the high tomorrow. Join us at 9 and I'll tell you exactly how long we expect this cold air to start the new year. Back to the Cowboys and Redskins. We're always at MyFoxHouston.com. Back here tonight, Fox News at 9. We'll see you then. Missouri, Arkansas, the AT&T Cotton Bowl, New Year's Day, only on Fox. It's the most magical time of the year. Experience advanced performance and technology at Acura's Drive Home for the Holidays sales opportunity. Take advantage of attractive financing on all Acura models for well-qualified customers. in less than a second on the largest and fastest push-to-talk network. Nice work. The new rugged i335 with Nextel Direct Connect. That's getting it done at sprint speed. Oh, this is so relaxing. Thanks for inviting us. Anytime. Hey, are you two into trying new things? Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? I hope so. My new sirloin steak melt? Hot and hearty sirloin strips, grilled onions, and three kinds of melting cheese nestled between warm grilled sourdough? Yeah. Let's make a jack sandwich. Ford Fusion. No matter who you are behind the wheel, the Fusion can handle it. A fresh new website just for your high school highlights. Fox Highlights Houston.com. Hi, what's up? I'm Tony Gonzalez. I guess I'm on. I don't know if mine's that good. Gonna soak down some pancakes, some bacon, and some eggs. I enjoy uh, just kind of laying around on the couch, not doing much. So really never driven past Gary, Indiana. Next thing you know, I'm on my back. My grandfather was the president. He was overthrown by a coup. Visa makes it easier for NFL fans to get ready for game day. Life Takes Visa, a proud sponsor of the NFL.
Ah, those music pieces always warm things up on a cold Sunday as we're experiencing here in Landover, a wet day, and it looks like Tony Romo is going to head back out there. Fantasy update, you can check in at foxsports.com on MSN or NFL.com. The Cowboys will start this second half with the football, and Romo will go back to work. I'm a little surprised by that decision to bring him back. I guess they're going to see if maybe he can get a little something going. And again, I mean, you go back to the fact that he's one completion shy of setting the all-time single-season record in franchise history. But we did see him leave the field, and to what extent that injury is, obviously not much. But you just kind of wonder how important that record really is. Yeah, I mean, that, that record, that's not like a touchdown pass record or yardage record it's a completion record yeah, and I can say it objectively because I don't hold the record right now <laughs> <laughs> belongs to Danny White this one on a hop is taken by Miles Austin who can't make the 25 let's go down to the field and Pam Oliver hey there Joe Washington defensive coordinator Greg Williams met each and every Redskin as they left the field and reminded them we have got to finish these guys off Joe gives a lot more technical in his comments to me he said it's going to be about path protection getting more protection and more time for Todd Collins in the pocket meantime Wade Phillips told me we're still in this to win it he's going to give his starters uh, one more series before he pulls the plug on them back to you all right Pam so here we go and a couple things it brings up with regard to the Dallas Cowboys and specifically Tony Romo. There's a completion to Witten. Now the single season completion record belongs to Tony Romo as he completes his seventh pass of the day. He had been tied with Danny White. That's now completion number 335, which is a Cowboy record. But we said it briefly in the first half. How many chances are you willing to expose your franchise quarterback to Greg Williams and this very good right now Washington defense as you try and stay healthy going into the playoffs. <laughs> Julius Jones has not had an impact today and that's why at the end of the first half when they got the offside penalty against Washington they decided not to go for a 54 yard field goal. OK you can quarrel with that or not but then to stand Romo back there in a Hail Mary situation with a defense coming at him while he's trying to buy time and throw it into the end zone I think is a little bit too risky at this point with nothing to play for today. came away wincing but he's back out there now second and eight over the middle that ball's batted down. Anthony Montgomery was in there for the Washington Redskins and with Kedrick Golston one of the big defensive tackles as well they do a good job of keeping bodies off their smallish middle linebacker London Fletcher well and those inside guys have really played well here as of late and Montgomery is one of those guys I mean for someone who is a rookie you know it took him a little while to really become a pro and, and learn what it was about to be able to compete and play at a high level but he has learned and he's done a very good job this season for him. third down and eight Romo steps up and that is dropped by Austin he had a touchdown staring him in the face he had good position on the defenders two of them were behind him and he dropped it yeah you're you're right Joe I mean this was a touchdown good move right there at the top against Fred Smoot and because of safety LaRon Landry overplayed it you know if he's able to make that catch there was nobody else it's a it's a walk in for a touchdown does not have a touchdown this season only four catches all year and that was a missed chance for Miles Austin line drive punt Antoine Randall L from inside the 20 out across the 35 brought down by Bobby Carpenter a return of 19 yards now Romo will watch with the rest of us as Todd Collins heads back to the field up 10. I don't think you're supposed to put coins in there. Want to get away? Now you can. 
With Southwest Airlines Internet Specials, you can fly to over 60 destinations nationwide for just $49-99. Purchased by January 21st. You are now free to move about the country. Dude. With 175 horsepower and 32 miles per gallon, cars won't be the only thing we pass. The Nissan Altima. Rank number one in owner satisfaction for fuel efficiency and performance. Today's game is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. With Southwest Airlines' convenient nonstop flights, it's like having your own company plane. By Pizza Hut, great pizza, great deal every day. Pizza Mia Pizza is only from Pizza Hut. By Nissan, who invites you to shift the way you move through the world. And by MasterCard. Because of his knowledge of this offense and because he doesn't have an overpowering arm, Todd Collins is a guy who's, when he's at the line, knows exactly where he's going with the football. And he's made good decisions when he's been under pressure since taking over for the Redskins. A free agent to be, he hands off to Portis, who pushes it to the 40, a gain of three. You know, I think in addition to that, Joe, you know, when you think about the things that they're doing with Todd Collins and, you know, being able to get the ball down the field, his knowledge of this system, you know, you got to believe that for Al Saunders, it's it's a lot easier for him as well as far as calling plays and, you know, doing a lot of the things probably that they were doing there in Kansas City with Trent Green with a veteran quarterback. And, and you can see the difference that that has made you know, over these weeks. Collins hits Portis and Clinton dives forward for a first down. And that's some of what I was talking about with Clinton Portis. I think a lot of times people tend to focus on what he does in terms of running the football and he has done a great job running the football here today but it's been tough sledding for the most part. But then he's such a big factor within the passing game. I mean, Todd Collins so many times comes underneath when he doesn't have it down the field, does not force the ball. But when you're able to get it to a guy like Clinton Portis and let him go, you know, that's a nice option. On first down, Liddell bets to midfield. Let's say this about the Redskins. They're looking for their fourth consecutive win. They've been in charge of this game really since the beginning. And I can't think of a lot of teams in the NFC that would rush to line up against Washington and take them on right now with the kind of weapons that they have the way their defense is playing now with Collins in the middle of it at quarterback you know who knows I mean this is a Washington team that might get very deep into the playoffs well there's no doubt that they have gained confidence in themselves I mean each week you can tell they're getting a better feel for what they're about dangerous throw as Antoine Randall was hit by Henry and Anthony Henry may have interfered flags come in may have gotten there a little too soon well, Henry reads it. He's going to make a play on the ball. I, you know, I'm not so sure about that defense, one. Defense, number 42. Ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. First down. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that call, only because both the receiver and the defender have an equal opportunity to make a play on the ball. And it looked like Henry, that he was making a play on the football and had every much a right to the football is what Antoine Randall L. had right there. It's a first down, a six-yard penalty. The ball inside the Dallas 45. Collins brings it back to Santana Moss, and Anthony Henry is there for the tackle, a gain of only one. You can spend about two minutes with Todd Collins, and because of his story and because of the way he looks you in the eye and answers questions, you become a fan 
of his and he's an easy guy to root for. He's from North Quincy Mass. Avid fisherman in the offseason. He and his wife Andrea welcomed in their second son just before his first start against the Giants. And Dan Snyder flew him home to be there for the birth of Jack. Came back and beat New York as Clinton Portis carries it to the 41 yard line and this was not a guy Troy and you asked him a number of different ways it was just hanging on to collect a check as a backup he was waiting for this chance that finally came and he's not letting go of it. Yeah and the reason that I asked was because Jason Garrett the offensive coordinator for the Cowboys longtime backup to me you know always waited for this opportunity to where he could be the guy and lead a team into the playoffs and Todd Collins has been hanging around and waiting and now he's being given that opportunity but you're right he was not just hanging on I mean he has been looking forward to this and that's why he was so prepared when the opportunity came pass is caught by Caldwell and he falls out of bounds with a first down just outside the 25 15 yard completion and again great timing on the sideline routes Collins is hitting these guys as they make their break you know it's just hanging in the pocket and they're they're working Jock Reeves over pretty good the defensive back for the Dallas Cowboys he seems to be on the on the defensive side of most of these completions and Caldwell doing a good job of keeping his feet in bounds. but you're right I mean there's there's great timing between Ty Collins and these receivers which is pretty remarkable Glenn Portis picks up three and let's say this and echo what Joe Gibbs said at the wide receiver position they're getting healthier Santana Moss has been bothered by a groin strain and a heel injury was inactive for two games you got Caldwell who's chipping in Antoine Randall has been more of a weapon second down and seven Portis bouncing it to the outside and Hamlin makes the play a gain of three third down coming up they did lose Brandon Lloyd who was absolutely not a part of this offense and has made no impact since they picked him up from San Francisco so they are better now at wide receiver than they've been in a long time yeah and I know we we focused a lot on the offense for the Dallas Cowboys and how they were struggling you know throughout much of this game but right now defensively for the Cowboys I mean, it's not like they're without a lot of players. I mean, granted, Terrence Newman's not playing, and Jay Ratliff in the middle's not playing, but everyone else is, and yet this Redskins offense has literally gone right through them. Third and four, the pass complete to Antron Randall. First and goal. You know, I look at Antoine Randall and his development throughout this season and the receiver that he has become. He's been a great compliment to Santana Moss. You see him there. He pushes up. He knows exactly where he needs to be in order to get the ball delivered to him. And he's had a great year. I mean, he really has played well for this team. This Redskins team is 70 percent on third down. Portis. Picks up one with Burnett on the stop for Dallas. Hatcher was out there as well for the Cowboys. And you know, Jimmy Johnson said it on Fox NFL Sunday today. The Dallas Cowboys have a reason to try and win this game because if they had a chance to knock out Washington out of the postseason, they should take advantage of it because they're not going to want to see this team again conceivably as they could deeper into the playoffs second and goal Portis did not get in got just short of the goal line you know you say the Cowboys would want to knock them out as we take a look here at Clinton Portis just you know I mean for a little guy he's a physical runner I mean he moves the pile as you see and just came up short you know the Cowboys are doing what they can. I mean this this group that's out there. I mean they're playing hard. They've played their starters those that are healthy and yet they've just not been able to do anything about it. I mean it's a it's a real credit to this Redskin team. Third and goal Portis gets it and walks in for the touchdown.
second of the day for Clinton Portis, his 11th rushing touchdown of the season. And he exposes that undershirt, which is a tribute to his late good friend, Sean Taylor. Well, here's the run here. It's just going to be off tackle straight downhill. They get pretty good push. Mike Sellers there and. You know, good job by those guys up front again. They, you know, have shuffled so many guys throughout this year, but the group they have now playing pretty good football. Yeah, as is this entire Redskin team. All phases of the game. A long drive. Caps on the one yard touchdown run by Clinton Portis. All Redskins here today. Nissan engineers know the backbone of any truck is its frame. That's why the Nissan Titan's frame is fully boxed. Unlike competitor C frames that are prone to flexing, our box frame is the strongest truck frame we've ever built. Just one more reason is the Titan of trucks. The 2008 full-size Nissan Titan. Now get up to $5,000 Nissan cashback or 0.9% APR financing. My allergies make it hard to work, but I can't take an allergy medicine that puts my head in a fog. That's why I'm cleared and clear out here and in here too. Whether it's dust, mold, or Sam here, Claritin relieves all my worst indoor allergy symptoms for 24 hours. I sneeze, this guy could lose his nose. Only Claritin is proven to make me alert and focused. And Claritin won't make me drowsy like other allergy medicines can. For me, a sharp mind's more important than a sharp chisel. Non-drowsy Claritin. Live Claritin clear, indoors and out. Hey, Derek, what's the deal with the special burger? Well, why don't you try calling it by its proper name, Jason? It's called the Special Secret Double Deluxe Bistro Burger. I'll be sure to do that. How do you make it? Well, you get you some raw meat, you ball it up, and put it on a plate. That sounds gross. Derek? Hey, man, I didn't mean... If you want raw meat on a plate, you got it. Switch to the network you can trust. AT&T. Get our exclusive smartphones, now only $99.99. It's the moment of truth. The new series with only one rule. You lie, you lose. Would you cheat on your wife if you knew you wouldn't get caught? Are you ready to face the moment of truth? Premieres Wednesday, January 23rd on Fox. So offense keeps moving the ball down the field, hung on to the ball for a 12-play drive over six and a half minutes off the clock. Portis capped it. Collins perfect on the drive, four for four. It's a Washington team that's been great on third down all day and it's paid off, up by 17. It appears Tony Romo's day is finished as Miles Austin, who dropped what could have been a sure touchdown pass moments ago, returns it. For 18 yards. Tony Romo is frustrated. Brad Johnson takes over a former Redskin. Romo's day is finished. Size car, according to JD Power and Associates. Me and my dad have always watched the big game. Even in college, I come home so we could watch our favorite teams. And now, I can afford to make this year bigger. 40 inches bigger. At Walmart, I can choose from all Pop's favorite brands. And with their low prices, I show Pop. I understand the value of a dollar. And that I still value the times we spend together. Okay, accessibility. So you have an urgent package ready to go. Well, just drop in a UPS Dropbox. They're everywhere. Or log on to UPS.com and schedule a pickup. Or take it to your nearest UPS store. Or you can hand it to any UPS driver and they can take it from you. It's not just accessibility. It's accessibility with UPS. Let's give them a bigger smile. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by UPS. What can Brown do for you? An impressive day for this Washington Redskins team, not just the offense, but certainly the defense, which has held the Dallas offense coming in the number two offense in the NFL. 
to 80 total yards. 642 left in the third quarter, and Brad Johnson steps up and hits Fasano, who gets slammed to the turf by Marcus Washington, a gain of five. Next week, it's playoffs, Jim Mora. Playoffs? Thank you, Jim. Giants at Tampa Bay <laughs> on Fox on Sunday, or Washington slash Minnesota. Right now, it looks like Washington at Seattle, not only because of what the Redskins are doing, but because of what Denver's doing to Minnesota. Up by 14 at home over the Vikings. Marion Barber goes backward. Phillip Daniels made the play a loss of three. You know, Joe, you, you talk about the NFC playoff picture and, and all that's unfolding right now. And, I, you know, congratulations are in order to the New England Patriots and what they accomplished last night. And, you know, and really for the New York Giants as well, as far as how well they play. I, you know, they always say, hey, you never stay the same. You either get better or you get worse. Well, if that's true, I thought the Giants got better last night the way that they played. Now, the big question is, can they match that emotional level again this week? I mean, that's going to be hard coming off such a big loss like they had last night. Third down and eight. Brad Johnson hits, but short of a first down is Patrick Creighton. A gain of five, it's fourth down. So another three and out lead Torrance out there to make the play defensively for the Washington Redskins. So here's Dallas. They've scored just 29 points over their last 11 quarters, which is a quarter shy of three full games after scoring at least 24 points in each of their first 13 games. So the offense has been stuck in neutral at best. Fifth point of the day for Matt McBriar. Antoine Randall L from inside the 15 yard line. Stays on his feet for a moment, gets to the 15, and that is it. Two yard return after a 47 yard punt. Redskins have it up 17. Nissan engineers know the backbone of any truck is its frame. That's why the Nissan Titans frame is fully boxed. Unlike competitor C frames that are prone to flexing, our box frame is the strongest truck frame we've ever built. Just one more reason is the Titan of trucks. The 2008 full size Nissan Titan. Now get up to $5,000 Nissan cashback or 0.9% APR financing. Everybody's talking about the great taste of Pizza Hut's new Pizza Mia Pizza. Mm. The rich whole milk mozzarella. The sauce made from fine ripened California tomatoes. Mm. And a perfectly baked crust. But the price leaves them speechless. Five bucks? Five bucks. That's right. Anytime you order three or more medium one topping Pizza Mia pizzas, they're each just five bucks every day. The new Pizza Mia. Get more, not less. Pizza Hut. Order online. A sleek, responsive touch screen. Cast video, music, and GPS navigation ready. Turn left. And that's just the half of it. The Voyager with full keyboard and touchscreen. Touch does more on America's most reliable wireless network, Verizon Wireless. Hawaii, Georgia. The All-State Sugar Bowl, New Year's Day, only on Fox. This telecast is copyrighted by the NFL for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or of any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the game without the NFL's consent is prohibited. 20-3, Washington. A win, and they are officially in the playoffs. All right, seven days out of now. Start it at their own 15. Portis carries and picks up three. So back inside this booth, I'll ask you. I mean, we see the Redskins are playing well. A lot of people like the Tampa Bay Bucks, a team that you and I haven't seen in person this season, but 
you know, going into the playoffs, how much stock do you put into how these teams play here the last couple ball games? Well, I, I think it's important. I mean, Dallas, they've not played well here today, but I think the big concern is that they haven't played well here over the last two to three ball games. But you look at the, the, the teams, you know, I think a lot of it comes down to how well their quarterbacks are playing. The way Eli Manning played last week, if, if he's able to play like that, you know, they're going to give themselves a real chance at Tampa. What happened today for Green Bay is what the Dallas Cowboys hoped would happen for Tony Romo in this offense. Green Bay looked good in the first half. Brett Favre had a good half. They moved the ball. Craig Nall even moved the ball and moved the team offensively for Green Bay. That did not happen here for Tony Romo. No, it, it hasn't. But, you know, as far as Tony Romo is concerned, you know, I, I think that guy has enough confidence in what he's capable of doing that it's not going to impact you know him too much but but as I was saying a little bit earlier you know with the Redskins you know they run the ball pretty well and they play really good defense but but I like them because of the way Todd Collins has played. Here's a pass complete to Cooley another first down out to the 30. Redskins have out rushed the Cowboys in this game 119 yards to zero. The Cowboys do not have one rushing yard in this game and offensively the Redskins are led by this trio six catches for Santana Moss and Portis is four yards shy of becoming the first 100 yard rusher against the Dallas defense all year. This is Betts. Betts out to the 31 picked up one. Yeah you know, I just think the. To go back to what you said a little bit earlier Joe and, and Joe Gibbs and what he's meant to this team and what he's meant really here over the last you know four weeks I mean he's so steady and these players each and every day when they go into that complex they know exactly what they're going to get and you know I think that in a lot of ways that's really the definition of a leader can you get people to follow you and, and he's able to do that in his way and he's really been the guy that has been responsible for the way this team has played. Pass complete to Santana Moss. Todd Collins doesn't miss. 13 yards and another first down. And again, it's Santana Moss on the other end. And again, it's this offensive line up front that, that is giving him the time to be able to make those throws. Look at the clean pocket. He just sits flat footed in the pocket, delivers the ball. And, you know, these are the throws as, as we've seen throughout the day to today that he throws so well. You know, he's got such great anticipation and laying the ball out on the sideline. Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing story. I mean, it's really unbelievable that a guy who hadn't played in 10 years could pre prepare himself the way that he did and make the most of the chance he's being given. Portis tripped up by an offensive lineman in his way. Loses three. Fabini was trying to get out in front of him, and Portis ran up his back and was down on the ground under a minute to play in this third quarter. And it'll be second down and long for the Redskins. You know, the other part of that, Joe, is uh, you know I thought it was interesting. I really did that a team that has to win today to get into the playoffs, and yet you could tell there was so much confidence with Joe Gibbs in that. Hey, if we win. You know, we can do something that we fell short of two years ago in 2005. Yes, we won a playoff game, but we didn't make it to the Super Bowl. This is a confident football team. Santana Moss fell down getting off the line of scrimmage and comes up trying to stretch out his left leg. Third down now for Washington, third and 13. Yeah, as we see here, and, and slipping coming off the line, and you, know, you say limping back, and again, I mean, that's a, man, that's the last thing that this team can afford is to lose him because I, I really think that when he's right this team's right I mean when they've played their best football offensively it's been because Santana Moss is healthy and he's been making big plays in the passing game he's done that you know, for most of the year he certainly has done that here today Redskins are winning the Vikings are losing pass is complete to Antoine Randall L short of a first down and I think as time expires on the third quarter now it's Washington that can start to ratchet things back. They have made their point here today. Fourth down when we start the fourth quarter. Redskins in control with Denver beating up on Minnesota in Denver.
January 14th, Prison Break returns with all new episodes. This is the man who can help us. So tell him! The new chapter begins. Oh, my God. Was it you? Did you kill Sarah? All new episodes of Prison Break begin January 14th on Fox. Something strange happens to people this time of year. They look for reasons to buy a new Toyota. We call it the Toyotathon Phenomenon. Lease a new 08 Tundra Double Cab for just $2.99 a month for 36 months. That's a phenomenal lease deal on Motor Trend's 2008 Truck of the Year, Toyota Tundra. There's never been a better time to get the new Toyota you've always wanted or needed. Hurry in. The Toyotathon Phenomenon is going on now. Why didn't you think of that? 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 I don't know why no one else thought of it, but burgers, a breakfast burrito, and a steak sandwich, all made from 100% sirloin, just seemed like the right thing to do. Why didn't you think of that? Fox 26 Morning News, covering the news that impacts our community. Now's the time to save big during the Ford 100-hour sales event. Just announced, get an additional $1,000 bonus cash on top of all existing offers. Only hours remain to get F-150 with up to 6,500 cash back. Or choose Super Duty and pocket up to 5,000 in cash savings. That's 6,500 on F-150 or five grand on Super Duty. Time is running out, and so's your chance to get an additional $1,000 bonus cash. The 100-hour sales event ends January 2nd, so stop by your Texas Ford dealer today. It's time for this week's Sprint Speed Highlight. In Detroit, the Lions' Paris Lennon intercepted a Brody Coyle pass intended for Tony Gonzalez and returned it for a score. Got blocked, is in front, right sideline, 15, cuts back, 10, and so touchdown, Detroit Lions! More plays like this, plus post-game highlights, real-time updates, and scores sent to your phone at the speed of light. This is the NFL at Sprint Speed. The unstoppable force that is Ryan Seacrest in the house here in Landover, Maryland. American Idol about to kick off again the middle of January, January 15th. He is here watching the Cowboys and Redskins. As Frost hits it, Creighton returns it from inside the 15 yard line and goes basically nowhere. Kerry Campbell on the stop for the Washington Redskins. They lead by 17. One university understands how you live today and where you want to go tomorrow. University of Phoenix, thinking ahead. In college, I wanted to be an architect, but after my father had a heart attack, I devoted my life to studying the heart. Inventor of the Jarvik artificial heart, Dr. Robert Jarvik. Now I trust my heart to Lipitor. Adding Lipitor lowers bad cholesterol 39 to 60% when diet and exercise aren't enough. And Lipitor does more. Unlike Crestor, Vitorin, and Zedia, Lipitor is FDA approved to reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke if you have several common risk factors for heart disease. Ready, Dad? Yeah. And Lipitor is one of the most researched medicines. I'm glad I take Lipitor as a doctor and a dad. Lipitor is not for everyone, including people with liver problems and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. You need simple blood tests to check for liver problems. Tell your doctor if you're taking other medications or if you have any muscle pain or weakness. This may be a sign of a rare but serious side effect. Lipitor is one of many treatment options to consider with your doctor. Don't wait. Ask your doctor. Extreme power of Energizer Lithium, the world's longest lasting AA battery and high tech devices. Energizer, keep going. Keith Davis is just now getting off the field. Really banged up as he got undercut on that last punt return right there.
Justin Rogers a backup rookie linebacker who Davis got tangled up with so he's off the field a big part of the special teams unit for Dallas is Keith Davis. And now the Dallas offense down by 17 takes over at their own 14 yard line. Brad Johnson throws out of the reach of Patrick Creighton and this Dallas offense 87 total yards that's it 87 total yards five first downs two by penalties by the way five punts and they're 0 for 7 on third down against the Washington defense and that was with most of their starters you know and I think that's that's the concerning part you know you you would expect that when they put in their backups as they've got in now that you would see some of those types of statistics but, but not that early in the game with the starters on the field you see they haven't been able to run the ball at all today and you can take some off there as London Fletcher makes the play a loss of four so negative total yardage on the ground for the Dallas offense. Yeah, you watch London Fletcher and the way that he's able to move. Actually, he was on the outside, but you know, London Fletcher, what he likes to do is get a little depth off the line of scrimmage, and by doing that, it allows him to run sideline to sideline without getting a lot of the offensive linemen on him. He's usually pretty free, you know, as far as running sideline to sideline, being able to make plays like that, of course, with his speed as well. You know, you're not going to be able to outrun him to the side. Third down and 14. And penalty flags as the play clock expired. Prior to the snap, delay of game, offense, five yard penalty, third down. You know, that's just Brad Johnson who has not played. You know all season long these have been his first pass attempts on the year Tony Romo has been taking all the work and you're starting to see even for a veteran guy I mean here in his 16th season you're starting to see some of the some of the rust that he has to get knocked off from not having been out there on the field a guy who would normally not you wouldn't see something like that happen to a guy that's been in the league as long as he has. Third down and 19. A screen for Julius Jones. And Julius Jones is hit and dropped from behind by Griffin. Cornelius Griffin back down the field to make the play. And Greg Williams has this defense flying around for the Redskins. Yeah, and you know what? Their style of play over the year has really changed. I mean, early in the season, they played very conservative. They played coverage. They played deep. You know, after all the big plays they gave up last year, they did not want to do that this year. That was their whole focus. But here over the last four to five games, they started bringing more pressure. They started doing the things that we grew used to seeing from a Greg Williams coach defense. Antoine Randall L on the Dallas side of the 50. Gets it just inside the 45, brought down by Tony Curtis. 1245 left in this one. Redskins have it up 17. It's the final days of Ford's year-end celebration. Our biggest event ends January 2nd. Your last chance to get the best offers of the year on Edge, Fusion, and the new restyled Focus. All available with Sync voice-activated communications. And F-Series, America's best-selling truck. Ford's year-end celebration ends January 2nd. Don't miss the best offers of the year. Visit a Ford dealer or go to FordVehicles.com. We fought the infection. We survived the apocalypse. And now we face extinction. The most exciting movie of the year. Resident Evil Extinction on DVD and Blu-ray High Def January 1st. To get to the Pro Bowl, NFL players go all out. You just go online to statefarm.com slash NFL. You could win a trip to the 2008 NFL Pro Bowl with the Your Game, Your Call getaway from State Farm. Go to statefarm.com slash NFL. We stopped selling the Whopper for one day to see what would happen. I just wanted to know why the Whopper is gone. We no longer carry Whoppers, ma'am. What happened was people freaked. Get me a Whopper. 
things you can do with one finger. Amuse a baby. Get to know your doctor. Save Holland. Trade stocks online globally in six different markets and local currencies. Tell your expensive broker where to go. All it takes is one finger. It's extraordinary. It's E-Trade. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Burger King, who reminds you to have it your way. By State Farm, proud sponsor of the NFL. By Bud Light, endless refreshment from start to finish. Bud Light keeps it coming. And by Ford. We asked Joe Gibbs on Friday whether he would be scoreboard watching or have somebody make him aware of what is going on in Denver during this game. The Broncos are taking care of the Minnesota Vikings. Joe Gibbs Redskins are taking care of the Dallas Cowboys. Good combination for Washington. They're keeping the pedal down here and they're keeping Portis in the game Moss in the game. Todd Collins in the game. As we're under 13 to play with the Redskins leading by 17 points. Yeah, and you just wonder if, in fact, there is somebody who now would actually tell Joe Gibbs, you know, what's happening in that Minnesota game, you know, with under six minutes to play and they're holding a 16 point lead. You know, still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. But, you know, if you're able to rest just a few guys, whether that's Clinton Portis or Santana Moss, maybe even Todd Collins, you know, I would think that you'd want to do that as soon as you felt comfortable with it. Second down and seven. Collins rolls to his right. Going to shoot for it all. Moss. Touchdown. They keep the pedal down and score another. And I think they're comfortable. Well, they're comfortable now just because of the score that they have against the Cowboys. And, you know, again, a double move by Santana Moss on the outside, one-on-one -on -one against Jock Reeves. You know, they've targeted him throughout this game. And now they come after him again. You're going to see play action there. Move Todd Collins out. And then the double move on the outside. And Jock Reeves bit on it. And a pretty easy touchdown reception for Santana Moss. And another perfect throw from Todd Collins in stride. And it's 27 to 3. As the Redskins are stamping their ticket for a date with the Seattle Seahawks. Santana Moss, another big day on the receiving end from Todd Collins. As the story of Collins continues to grow. It's gut check time. I tell you what, whoever stops him gets a butt light on me. Let's go, fellas. What? Endless refreshment from start to finish. Bud Light keeps it coming. What? It was a clean hit? <laughs> Mucinex DM breaks up mucus and quiets coughing. <laughs> Mucinex DM. You've ruined my beauty sleep. And it lasts for 12 hours. Mucinex in, mucus out. Versus Predator rated R. Now playing. Call Linda. Call Linda. Call office. Call Matt. Call Armand. Call Kara. Call Karen. The 2008 Ford Fusion. No matter who you are behind the wheel, the Fusion can handle it. You seem different. I am. She's not just another pretty metal face. Field trip. I call shotgun. I call 9mm. Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles premieres two weeks from tonight on Fox. Todd Collins getting congratulations on the sideline. Five touchdowns, a quarterback rating over 106, no interceptions, 888 yards, a great completion percentage. And with a little hug for Keenan McCardell, they are 
all smiles on the Washington sideline for good reason as their role is continuing looking for their fourth straight win. Meanwhile Dallas's 10 game road winning streak looking like it's about to come to an end as Austin carries it out just short of the 45 yard line the latest and greatest from Todd Collins to Santana Moss becoming quite a combination for the Redskins Washington up 24. All these years, you've gone through the day without email like this in your pocket, or stock updates like this in your pocket, or internet like this in your pocket, and you survive. The question is, how? Miss a beat. Life takes rhythm. Life takes visa. The bucket list is a gift to moviegoers. Right. It's heartfelt and wickedly funny. Four stars. A wonderfully smart and inspiring film. What do you want to do next? Amazing. Give Nicholson and Freeman the Oscar now. 30 years I've been coming here. First time with a guy. Winner, one of the top 10 films of the year. Proud of you. Nobody cares what you think. The Bucket List, rated PG-13. Now playing in select cities everywhere January 11th. There's a clear difference between Claritin and many allergy medicines. The difference is Claritin Clear. Claritin gives me powerful relief that won't make me drowsy like Zyrtec can. In fact, most pharmacists caution Zyrtec may cause drowsiness. Non-drowsy Claritin. Live Claritin Clear. Minnesota Vikings are down by eight in Denver. The Washington Redskins are up 24 over Dallas and Santana Moss. <laughs> He's showing the double move to the guys on the sidelines there. The move that he just put on Jock Reeves for the touchdown. He's reliving it. He had 121 <laughs> at Dallas earlier this year with a touchdown. He's got 115 today on eight catches with a touchdown. And Brad Johnson with a pocket. Completes Miles Austin on the catch. And Miles Austin is down to the 20. 35 yards from Brad Johnson, who was here with the Redskins in 99 and 2000, took them to the postseason in 1999, got a win over Detroit, lost to Tampa Bay, and then moved on and won a Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah, he's taken three different teams. To postseason play, a two time Pro Bowler. I mean, a well accomplished quarterback for a long time in this league. On first down, it's Julius Jones. Picks up two for the day now. Minus two of the Cowboys rushing the football for the entire afternoon. It's second down and eight. You know, I'm a little surprised, too, that Julius Jones hasn't gotten more opportunities to run the football here today. I thought that he would, you know, get about 20 to 25 carries. Now, part of the game has dictated that, but, you know, here's a guy who will be a free agent at the end of this season, and I'm you know, not sure whether or not he will be back in Dallas. Jason yeah. Witten, Troy, is out there for the Cowboys. That's him going in motion. Trouble as Johnson gets it away to Hurd, who's got a first down inside the 10. So unless you're really worried about Jason Witten getting to 100 catches on the season, and Witten has two today, 96 on the year, why would you risk in a runaway game getting maybe your biggest weapon injured here in a meaningless game? Well, I, and I agree with that, and I, I just know that it's, I know Wade Phillips feels it's important for him to do what he can to help these guys reach some of these individual goals because of how hard they've worked all year and what they've invested and what they've done for him, but, but not at the expense of getting anybody hurt. Julius Jones won't go down. Still on his feet, plays still live as he gets it close to the two. 
Julius Jones showing some of the power that he possesses under nine and a half to play and Brad Johnson getting a chance to run this offense now trying to punch it into the end zone for the first time today. I know Greg Williams has great respect for Brad Johnson having gone against him in a number of different places and said hey it's not going to be a picnic when Greg when uh, Brad Johnson gets inside and starts playing either I mean he can make some things happen and that's exactly what he's doing here on this possession. Johnson throws good pass but dropped again by Austin that's his second drop and Troy Brad Johnson put that right where he wanted to yeah that was a perfect throw that's where this play's designed you see him turn he's expecting it there on his back shoulder you know come back towards the pylon and then make the reception and he just failed to do it but an excellent throw by Brad Johnson so six drops today by the Cowboys that hasn't helped the Dallas so far with 143 total yards for the day. Pressure on Johnson and down he goes and again it's Chris Wilson. His second of the day he got Romo at the end of the first half. Yeah, and he was unblocked coming off the edge. I mean Chris Wilson he's not a guy you ever want to leave unblocked. He's got great speed. You know off the corner you see there Julius Jones felt like he had to make a decision between two of the blitzers he took the inside guy but Wilson was the bigger threat Brad Johnson just did not see the blitz coming the ball's got to get out here's a 30 yard try by Nick Folk. you think Greg Williams will take any pride that so far his defense has kept the Dallas Cowboys out of the end zone. 27 to 6. Redskins lead it with 8.42 left. Call Linda. Call Linda. Call Office. Call Matt. Call Armand. Call Karen. Call and Karen. The 2008 Ford Fusion. No matter who you are behind the wheel, the Fusion can handle it. With someone is tossing paddles in the stream somewhere, someone is standing at the foothills of their dreams, and someone got a paintbrush is staining over doubt. Someone opened up his eyes and saw the sun coming up. Our employees invest time, and we invest money in our communities for a very simple reason. We live here too. Someone is finding the Bank of America. Long. Bank of Opportunity. They will rise from every walk of life, from every corner of the country, with the same dream. American Idol. Dream big. Tuesday, January 15th on Fox. It's happening again. Listen, listen to me. They are going to turn on us. Take back the future. Go. Prison Break returns with all new episodes Monday, January 14th on Fox. London Fletcher is like a coach on the field for Greg Williams. They were together in Buffalo. He's been such an overlooked and good middle linebacker since he came out of tiny John Carroll College and played for the St. Louis Rams. He was in the Super Bowl early in his career and he's fighting to get back to the postseason for the first time in six years. This is Santana Moss on the kick return. The OT is coming up right after football. Let's find out what's coming our way. All right, thanks, guys. Coming up right after your game on the OT, scores, highlights, post-game interviews, and Terry, Howie, and Jimmy will preview all of next week's wildcard games. It's all on the OT right after you are done. But back to Joe, Troy, and Pam in Maryland right now. All right, Kurt, so we look forward to that. Meanwhile... 
the Washington Redskins may at the end of the day have needed to win to get into the playoffs as the Vikings have just tied the Denver Broncos with 217 left but here it's 27 to 6 a 21 point lead timeout. and a timeout is Dallas. taken. This is their first charge timeout. So Dallas defensively a bit confused and probably trying to get different bodies on the field. They have to spend a timeout prior to the first down play. The Dallas Cowboys are the number one seed. And since they've been a number one seed in 77, they won the Super Bowl over Denver. 79, they lost the divisional playoff against the Rams. 93, they won the Super Bowl over the Bills. And in 95, as a number one playoff seed, they beat the Steelers and won the Super Bowl. That was the third with that group you were with with the Dallas Cowboys. And Wade Phillips will be looking in two weeks for his first win in the postseason as a head coach. Yeah, and we found, you know, over the last 10 years or so, having home field advantage and playing in that championship game is not nearly as meaningful as what it once was. Handoff is to Clinton Portis. Well, he looks healthy, doesn't he? Bouncing all over the place. Picks up seven, and Justin Rogers on the tackle. Well, I think that's the, the biggest thing about this Redskin team right now is the fact that, you know, they're – their star players, the playmakers, are healthy. You know, we've talked about it a little bit through this game, but, you know, you get a healthy Clinton Portis and you get a healthy Santana Moss, I mean, you're going to be pretty productive on the offensive side of the ball combining those two players with a guy like Chris Cooley creating those matchups and then this offensive line coming together and then again, I mean, Todd Collins, if he continues to throw the ball the way he's throwing it, they're going to be awfully tough to beat in postseason play. Adele Bats gets it and he runs into Jason Hatcher. Meanwhile, with Portis, Troy over 100 on the day. He's the first 100-yard rusher against Dallas all season. The last time they had gone an entire season without allowing a 100 yard rusher was 1975 so they came close but that ends here in their 16th game well, and you mentioned a little earlier you know the the relationship that Clinton Portis and Santana Moss that they had with Sean Taylor all of these players did but those two in particular going back to college and, and how these play, other players have rallied behind those two guys Todd Collins is sacked First guy there was Hatcher and a loss on the play of nine yards with under seven and a half to play and Todd Collins will unbuckle and head off to the sideline on fourth down. Now the other part of this whole thing Joe is you know with Washington assuming they do go on to win this game that you know if they are able to go on the road and beat Seattle. Then they'll be right back in Dallas playing them again in the in the divisional round. And I've got to believe that if that then happens, the Redskins go into that game feeling pretty confident. They took Dallas to the wire in the first game there in Dallas. On a hop, Patrick Creighton takes it and goes nowhere. Well covered downfield. Fox was in there along with Kerry Campbell. And a return of two yards after a 43-yard punt. In that game it was a 28 23 win for the Dallas Cowboys and the single biggest difference maker as you look at the stats for this game in that one for Dallas was T.O. Terrell Owens had eight catches 175 yards and four touchdowns in that game. And the Dallas Cowboys hope that he gets over that high left ankle sprain in time to get back into that divisional series game divisional round and that's a concern and it should be Julius Jones runs into the arms of Montgomery and they just can't run the ball anywhere against this Washington front four no and, and really not a lot of teams have I mean looking at looking at Washington and the job that they've done really pretty much all season in run defense they've been they've been pretty good. And then last week I know they presented a lot of different looks for the Minnesota Vikings they come in with five down defensive linemen four linebackers and 
you know, they did a good job against that group. So, you know, for those that say, hey, you, you win in postseason with the running game, well, I think teams that are playing the Redskins better think otherwise. Second and 11. Johnson over the middle hits Julius Jones. He's out to the 31 yard line, picked up four. Third down and six coming up. Andre Carter made the play. And I know we have discussed Joe Gibbs and, and his importance and what he's meant to this team and this organization and you know holding them together through difficult times but not just him the entire coaching staff I mean the job that Al Saunders has done getting Todd Collins playing at the level that he's playing and then being more productive on that side of the ball and, and Greg Williams I mean this is a this is an all star staff and has been for a number of years but this group's earned their pay this year. 29, 29. Also a well paid staff under Joe Gibbs. Behind the defense, what a play by Smoot. Austin was behind him, and Smoot recovered to get his hands on the ball and avoid a touchdown. Yeah, he sure did. And, and Brad Johnson just couldn't quite get it out far enough. But Fred Smoot's going to show you some of the, the makeup speed that he has. I mean, he's able to get back there and lay out for it. But it was an underthrown ball. And if it had been a little bit more down the field, that would have been for a touchdown. 0 for 10 on third down of the Dallas Cowboys today. And Matt McBriar has been busy. He's had a good year. Randall L will let it go by him. And they'll mark it at the 22. The Seattle Seahawks and the Washington Redskins met in the postseason a couple of years back. It was January of 06 after the 05 season. After Washington won the first game at Tampa Bay, they lost in Seattle 20 to 10 in a rematch. It appears is coming. Alexander was on the sideline there. He had suffered a concussion. That's why he was not in the game. And I think you'd, you'd, you'd always say, well, hey, these guys have been there a couple years ago. They know what to expect. But you know what? There's a lot of new players on this team. There's not a lot of guys that were on that 05 team that are currently playing and will be going back. Liddell Betts trying to get to the edge, and it's not there. Kevin Burnett strung it out. Justin Rogers was out there as well for Dallas. You know, you show London Fletcher there, and, and you talked a little bit about him earlier, Joe. And, you know, I, I've been really impressed with him. And throughout his whole career, I remember playing against him when I was with the Cowboys, and he was starting his career out there with the St. Louis Rams. And a guy who was always a really good football player, you know, did a lot of talking on the field. And you don't see a lot of that from him anymore. And, you know, he said he's matured over the years, doesn't talk as much, doesn't need to expend as much energy, but he's no less a football player than he was back then. He's, he's been a terrific addition. Liddell Betts. No gain. You know, you look at Clint Fortis, who's smiling at the defense. It's really played well today. You think about Jason Campbell. We we saw that game in Dallas, and we have seen Jason Campbell make huge strides during the course of this year. The only thing that was holding him back was right at the end of games. He'd get the team in a position to get a win, and they would throw that pick, or they would have a big incompletion or whatever. But there's no doubt that this guy is making huge leaps. But right now, this offense belongs to Todd Collins. Yeah, for this year, I mean, the coaches have made it clear that Jason Campbell's their guy in the future. He's younger, and, you know, he's the guy they invested so much in, and, and rightfully so. But, you know, you're right. I mean, you think back to that first game against Dallas, and, you know, there they were in a position to potentially win the game, and he had a critical interception, and there's been some other games, you know, like that. And, and that's one of the things that Todd Collins has not done. You know, he's not turned the ball over. He's not had the costly interception. And, you know, I think right now at this moment in time for this team and what they're trying to do, there's no question that Todd Collins is the right guy for that, whether Jason Campbell was healthy or not. The other part of it is Collins is an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year, and there are obviously a lot of teams that are looking for quarterbacks. I think of Chicago first off, but... There will be teams lined up as Todd Collins continues to ring the cash register with every weekend that goes by. 
With a win today, it's been definitely a roller coasters type season for Joe Gibbs. First eight, they were five and three. Went 0 and 4, and now trying to win their final four. They won their last five a couple of years ago to get into the playoffs. Won a playoff game, lost at Seattle, as we showed you. This is a Redskins team that will go rolling into the postseason. And the Seahawks, who lost today to Atlanta, will have their hands full. Tyson Thompson now in the backfield and he slips and falls. So this could be the lowest day in the history of this franchise running the football as they have run for a total of one yard in this game the Dallas Cowboys. Record for futility for Dallas eight yards back in 1998 in a loss at New Orleans. Two minute warning here in Landover. Washington on their way to the playoffs, leading by 21. Today's game on Fox is sponsored by Verizon Wireless. Got to have the latest football news? Get up to the minute commentary, interviews, and even matchup previews with Fox Sports. All on your VCast phone from Verizon Wireless. Rob? You know, Verizon Wireless still has lots of really great phones on sale. Got myself a Venus with a touchscreen. The holidays aren't over yet. Because some of the season's hottest phones are up to 50% off. Like the Samsung U620, perfect for Vcast Mobile TV, just $49.99. Or get the Moto Q Music, just $99.99. Verizon Wireless. It's the final days of Ford's year-end celebration. Our biggest event ends January 2nd. Your last chance to get the best offers of the year on Edge, Fusion, and the new restyled Focus. All available with Sync voice-activated communications. A Ford Motor Company exclusive. Ford's year-end celebration ends January 2nd. Don't miss the best offers of the year. Visit a Ford dealer or go to FordVehicles.com. Hey. Tell me something. There's a delicious Subway food montage going on right behind me, isn't there? Yep, I can smell it. Well, that's going to make it kind of hard to focus, but here we go. An ode to the Subway feast. Turkey, salami, cheese with roast beef, pepperoni and ham. Write this down, chief. We got them all on freshly baked bread. The Subway feast. It's as big as my head. Beat that, Jared. <laughs> Subway, eat fresh. I like winter, go home. No, do or die sounds better. Go home sounds nice. It's like, ah, I blew the playoffs. All right, see you guys later. See you at minicamp. Peace. Two minutes left. Dallas with the football. <laughs> Pass is short. Miles Austin, the Cowboys can't wait for the clock to expire and they can just get out of here. A 21 point lead for the Redskins. It's been a big day, all three phases of the game for Washington. And Dallas will have a lot of work to do to get some momentum back before their first postseason game in two weeks at home. A number one seed, but not playing like it for the last four games. Third down and ten. Fasano is wrapped up and tackled short of first down yardage by H.B. Blaze. The Redskins will become the fourth team in the Super Bowl era to make the playoffs. They're starting five and seven. A kiss from Joe Bugle to Joe Gibbs. Fourth down here and Brad Johnson keeps it, does not make it. And so to end the day offensively the Dallas Cowboys will turn the ball over on downs Troy after that last second loss here to Buffalo on the Ryan Lindell field goal they're going to ask for a measurement it certainly looked like Johnson did not get close enough for it to be a first down or even to warrant a measurement. And Gibbs trying to call back-to-back -back timeouts, not realizing that he couldn't, trying to ice Lindell. 
A lot of people believe that this game here tonight would be Joe Gibbs last game in this second tour of duty with the Redskins not necessarily by his choice. But in the meantime he has reminded everybody the great leader that he is the great NFL head coach that he is and a leader of men that has gathered this group together and they go spilling and pouring right into the playoffs. Yeah and, but I, I do still think it's going to be interesting to see if when it's all said and done if Joe Gibbs decides that he wants to come back for the 08 season you know obviously it will be his choice but the reason I say that is in 05 when they won the playoff game and beat Tampa Bay and they really expected last year to be a great year for them and it didn't turn out to be that way and now this year back in the playoffs I think the I think the one thing that Joe Gibbs has realized now that you can't you can't guarantee that you're going to get better you know from one year to the next it is a roller coaster in this league we see it all the time teams be really good and then not so good so it, it, it'll be interesting to see how this season unfolds now in postseason and what ultimately Joe Gibbs wants to do as it relates to OA. he and this team have certainly been through a lot we know that next Sunday now officially on Fox it'll be the New York Giants at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the air at 12 Eastern 9 a.m. Pacific so the early game on Fox on Sunday is the Giants at the Tampa Bay Bucks who won the South that means that the Redskins and the Seahawks will play on Saturday and we are at 28 seconds and counting and these two teams will come together in midfield they may meet one more time this season depending on what happens next week up in the Pacific Northwest and it's been a long time since we've seen that many smiles on the Redskins sideline injuries heartbreaking losses and the death of a teammate the beloved Sean Taylor and Joe Gibbs has put with a big assist from Todd Collins the Washington Redskins into the postseason. With thoughts of Sean Taylor, we take a break. Bonus coverage coming up on the other side. Washington, a convincing win today. It's a Springfield crime wave, and Marge is taken hostage. Do something. My current wife is in there. The Simpsons, followed by King of the Hill, tonight on Fox. Every year about this time, something magical happens. The Red Tags come out for the Buick Red Tag event. Look for the red tag and your chance to get the best price of the season on 2008 Buick models. And the price on that tag is the price you pay. During the red tag event, get 2,000 total cash back on Lacrosse and Lucerne, making this Lucerne CX available for around 25.1. See your Houston area Buick dealer by January 2nd. Fox 26 Morning News, on top of news that impacts our community. Well, another elementary school may have mold problems. News that impacts your life. What should we do as passengers? Because it's not just the headlines, but the details that give them life. President Bush declares six Texas counties a disaster area. New this morning, a man is rushed to the hospital. Sabila Vargas and the Fox 26 Morning News team, weekdays 5 to 9 a.m. It's a Springfield crime wave, and Marge is taken hostage. Do something. My current wife is in there. The Simpsons. Tonight at 7 on Fox 26. Joe Gibbs waving to the crowd on his way off the field. The Cowboys with one rushing yard on the day. Our UPS leaderboard. UPS, what can Brown do for you? Todd Collins, 244 yards, did not turn it over. A touchdown. Clinton Portis, 104 yards on the day. Santana Moss, another big one against the Cowboys. For Troy and Pam, I'm Joe. We go to Denver. The Vikings and the Broncos. Sam Rosen, Tim Ryan, it's all yours. We welcome those of you who are watching the Washington Redskins and Dallas Cowboys. Welcome to Denver. Sam Rosen, Tim Ryan, Tom Helmer. We are in overtime, and... The Denver Broncos are going for the win after recovering a fumble. A big hit by Alvin McKinley. Knocked the ball out of the hands of Tavares Jackson. The Broncos recovered. And the extra point try by Jason Elam, 30 yards. 
straight away. And Elam puts it through. The Denver Broncos have won it. The season is over for both teams. The Broncos finish 7 and 9. They win it in overtime 22 to 19. The Minnesota Vikings finish 8 and 8. And with Washington winning, the Washington Redskins move on to postseason play against Seattle next week in the wild card playoffs. A disappointing finish for Tavares Jackson, who led a great fourth quarter comeback with two touchdown passes and two two point conversions, bringing Minnesota back from a 19 3 deficit. But Denver wins it, recovering the fumble. There were three turnovers in the game, all by Minnesota, and all leading to points for the Denver Broncos. That's it for the regular season. Denver defeats Minnesota 22. Out of the shadows, a contender will emerge. The NFC Wild Card, next Sunday on Fox. Unpredictable college football season in history reaches its climax. The Tigers have risen from the ashes and are ready to claim their second BCS championship. But the Buckeyes are out to avenge last year's title game loss and prove they're the true number one. LSU, Ohio State, the All-State BCS National Championship game, January 7th, only on Fox. Fox Sunday is celebrating the end of the year, and the Simpsons are inviting everyone. And you have to come sober. American sober or Irish sober. Then, after King of the Hill, Family Guy asks, would you rather spend your holidays like Chris? I'm taking a sabbatical to focus on my pottery. How's that working out? Not good, Meg. Not good. Or like Stewie. I'm having a magical aerial adventure because my family has disposable income. Followed by American Dad. It all starts at 8, 7 central tonight on Fox. The 50th running of the Daytona 500 kicks off the 2008 Sprint Cup. This February in HD, only on Fox. Welcome back to Denver. With the snow falling, the season has come to an end, but the Denver Broncos finish on an up note with a 22-19 win over the Minnesota Vikings. It's time for our UPS leaderboard. UPS, what can Brown do for you? And don't forget, coming up next, we've got the OT with Kurt Menefee and the gang in the studio. For Tim Ryan and Tom Helmer, this is Sam Rosen. Happy New Year, everyone. The dream is still alive. Someday it will come true. And this country, it belongs to folks like me and you. So let the voice of freedom sing out through this land. This is our Chevy Silverado. This is our truck. You're gonna make it go. Rambo Radar, January 25th. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Just help me this once, and I'll never ask for anything again, ever. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh. Next time, get a dependable interstate battery. They're tested, trusted. Find a dealer at 1-800-CRANKIT or interstatebatteries.com. to your life. So live longer, retire stronger, never outlive your money. Ask your financial advisor about AIG. It will help change people's lives. Are you bringing any weapons? Of course not. You're not changing anything.
Rated R. Theaters January 25th. We're uncompromising. We could brew coors somewhere other than the Rockies, but we don't. We're persistent. Our beer's been made smooth with only Rocky Mountain water since 1873. We're set in our ways. We use only the best high country barley for that full flavored taste. We refuse to change. Sound like anybody you know? Coors, the banquet beer. The regular season is over, but I'm getting all dressed up for the postseason. <laughs> In the NFC, the playoff picture went spinning. Where did it stop? Was it the Redskins? Where did we eat? Where did you eat? Or maybe Minnesota? Or how about the Fighting Saints? Did they weasel into the playoffs? I'm not going to be a party to this. Meanwhile, in the AFC, San Diego charged toward the three seed. Did LT and company get it done? And will Cleveland's turn around and land them a playoff spot? Hey, Brady, want to join us for the OT? You know, I don't got too much time for this. Maybe I'll see you down the road. Ah, uh, must be nice to be perfect. Hey, Weasel, take us to the OT. <laughs> The OT, presented by Lowe's. Let's build something together. As we welcome you to the OT, presented by Lowe's, I want to let my family know that that was computer generated. I did not wear a skirt. I am Kurt Menefee, <laughs> along with Terry, Howie, and Jimmy, and let's get right to it. Washington with a chance to get into the playoffs. All right, Cowboys. Over the Cowboys. You bad news Redskins. That was Clint and Portis. It's Portis again up inside. Off tackle, 23-yard touchdown run. Redskins 7 or nothing over the Cowboys. Second quarter. Chris Wilson and Cornelius Griffin sack Tony Romo hard. Taking him down right there. 13-3. Redskins over Dallas Romo. Walking off the field, kind of cautious. Then in the third quarter, Portis one yard touchdown run. Romo not liking this. 20 to 3 now. Washington over Dallas. Washington 27 to 6 over the Dallas Cowboys. Vikings at Denver. Tavares Jackson, the young second year quarterback, getting things ready for the Vikings. Back. Looking, roll left. There's Bobby Wade, 22 yard touchdown, 19 to 17. Denver Broncos over the Vikings. Vikings go for two. Jackson runs it in from two point conversion. We're tied up at 19 off. Jason Elam then nails his 30 yard field goal. Denver 22 to 19 over the Minnesota Vikings. And that was after Jackson fumbled on the first play of overtime. New Orleans and Chicago. Pre game warm up here at Fox. That's what it looks like right there. Getting it on. Howie, Jimmy, me, Kurt wins every time. Kyle Orton back. Find the speedster. Devin Hester, 55-yard touchdown reception. 24-14. Bears over the Saints. Second half, Devin Hester. He's already had three punt returns for touchdowns this year. Make it four. How far does he go, Howie? A bunch. And a boy. Graduate from Villanova. 64-yard touchdown. 33-25. Bears beat the Saints. Detroit at Green Bay. As Jimmy said, it snowed yesterday. Hard life is Ryan Grant. 27-yard touchdown run. 7-3 Packers over the Lions, needing 101 yards to go over 1,000. That's Grant. He won't get it. Five to Bubba Frank. Four-yard touchdown. Throw. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. All right. 34-13. Green Bay takes care of Detroit Lions. Then he tests the verdict Carolina Panthers. His last game, he announces his retirement afterwards. D'Angelo Williams runs it for 32 yards. Touchdown. It is 31-23 Carolina. That is your final. Carolina takes care of Tampa Bay. Seattle, as Jimmy Johnson would like to say. That's Arthur Blank. Owns the Atlanta Falcons. Greeting former coach Jim Moore, Jr. Chris Redman, four touchdown passes on the day. Algie Pump of the tight end for seven yards strike 34 27 Atlanta and final was 44 to 41 49ers at Cleveland Andy Lee's punt taken by Joshua Cribs he won a Terry award he's inspired he's happy his family's throwing a party for him this one 76 yards for the touchdown Brown seven or nothing then Derek Anderson in the second quarter back a man right in his face right there nobody in the middle blitz middle of the field wide open Raylan Edwards takes it in from 45 yards 20 to 7 Browns beat the 49 Jacksonville at Houston. Andre Davis. Here we go. Break one tackle. Turn on the burners. I used to do this in the ninth grade. Oh, was I fast, Howie. Oh, could I run. 97 yards. Andre Davis takes it back. 21-14. Houston over Jacksonville. Third quarter. There's the kickoff. 104 yards. He now takes it. Andre Davis. Franchise record. 
beautiful fourth of his career. It is a 42-28 Texans over the Jaguars final. Buffalo at Philadelphia. Donovan McNabb. I've traded him three times to the Chicago Bears. He won't listen to me. McNabb, 32-yard strike to Reggie Brown. Brown fumbles, recovered by Kevin Curtin. In the end zone, 17-9. It is Philadelphia over Buffalo. Cincinnati at Miami. Bill Parcells. Bill, I'll get to you later. He called me several times earlier. The guy just get, trying to get some information, fellas. Carson Palmer, quarterback to Chad Johnson. Johnson, two re touchdown receptions on the day. This 70-yarder, 14-10. Bengals over the Dolphins. Parcells not too happy. Stay away, coach. 38-25. Bengals beat the Dolphins. St. Louis at Arizona. Kurt Warner. A million, a half dollar bonus because of the great effort today. Three touchdown passes. 48-19 Arizona over St. Louis. Kansas City at the New York Jets. Tony Gonzalez recorded his 816th career reception and is the most by a tight end in the NFL. 10-3 at this point. Jets over Kansas City. Brady Crawl out of Alabama hits this 26-yarder Jeff Whip. We are tied up right now in overtime at 10 apiece. Pittsburgh at Baltimore. Corey Roth takes it. Off left tackle. Feels it. Goes back in Side 32 yard touchdown 27 21 Ravens beat my Steelers. I ain't happy. San Diego at Oakland. Phillip Rivers 19 yard strike. Chris Chambers corner of the end zone. Get down ball wobble wobble 14 to 7. It is the Chargers over the Raiders. Then Jamarcus Russell in the third quarter back sets up hit from behind ball knocked loose. Giles Tucker recovers the football touchdown 27 17. Chargers all over the Oakland Raiders. You okay there, brother? I'm ready to go for pick up right now, though, Kurt. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready to go talk a little old tea here. <laughs> All right, let's get back to some performances today. I mean, Dallas didn't have a lot on the line, but they did not look good today. Minnesota and New Orleans both had a lot on the line. It turned out not to matter because Washington won, but still, both those teams came out flat with a chance to make the playoffs. Jimmy. Well, yeah, but New Orleans and Minnesota, they were hoping to back into the playoffs, you know, if Dallas had beaten the Redskins, but that didn't happen. The concern I have is about the Dallas Cowboys. One one yard rushing today, lowest in team history. You know, they have not played well ever since the Green Bay game. The last month and a half, they have struggled, and they're going in the playoffs right now. They could very well face this Washington team here in two weeks. If Washington can beat Seattle, tough call, man. Hey, they'll see them again. And call. Washington right now, they're playing good. They're on a roll. And this Dallas team, they've got to be a little bit shaken as far as their confidence. Yeah, yeah you know, you talk about Dallas. They, they, they went at home versus Green Bay, a depleted Green Bay team, a young Green Bay team that probably learned from that experience. They travel to Detroit. They struggle there a little bit. Get that win towards the end. Philadelphia, they lose. They get a kind of a so-so a win versus Carolina there. So-so so Carolina's <laughs> terrible. Yeah, well, you know, how you finish the year up, in my mind, is key. What's the mental frame of mind coming into a game like this? Each team dealt with this last game, particularly the meaningless games, in different ways. Dallas walks out of this game reeling. Washington walks out of this game feeling good. New York right. lost a game yesterday and feels real good, they particularly should. at the yeah. quarterback position they where they are. Greg yeah. Williams, defensive coordinator for Washington, said we want to you know, some member me licks, and I thought today that some defense what? of remember oh, me hey. licks. And Joe, I thought Joe Gibbs, was is he has shown great leadership in bringing his team back. Won their last four games, and today clinched that final playoff spot in the NFC. And by the way, nice the story. Jets and Chiefs, neither one's going anywhere, but the Jets did kick a 43-yard field goal <laughs> from Mike Nugent to win the game. Kansas City finishes the season losing Next their last quarter. nine games of the year. Both teams end up at 4-12. and 12. All right, so much more to go. Go here on the OT presented by Lowe's. We'll preview all the wild card games coming up next week and a great sound bite from Romeo Cornell you do not want to miss. But first, let's see who delivered with the FedEx Air and Ground Awards for the day. And we go to Chris Redmond, who finishes up strong for Atlanta. They get a good win, 44 41, and he has four touchdown passes to end what was a terrible season for the Falcons. Meanwhile, on the ground, D'Angelo Williams does it as the Carolina Panthers get to 7 and 9 on the year behind his 120 yards rushing against the Bucks. Back with more OT right after this. What's behind the grill is what matters most. Who wanted more?
is professional grade. You know, just caulking around old windows can save you lots of money. Could I try that? Just one compact fluorescent bulb can save $30. You know, sealing and insulating your home, you can save a lot of money on your heating and cooling bill. For more information on energy-saving products and projects, just visit Lowe's.com slash energy. Lowe's has more Energy Star appliances in stock than anyone. It really save you some big bucks. Lowe's, let's build something together. Yeah, yeah, coach! Part of the Coors Light Frost brewing process occurs at 34 degrees. Does that give it an edge over other beers? You know, if you can get up to 33, or certainly 34, then you are substantially ahead of your opponent. Coach, uh, don't you mean down to 33 or 34 degrees? Yeah. Ross Brew Coors Light, official beer sponsor of the NFL. Coach, this guy's taking all our Coors Light, and we don't know how to stop him. If you don't have a guy on him, he'll hurt you bad. I mean, real bad. I'm on it. FedEx saved us with their overnight service, so we've added FedEx Ground for everyday shipping. Ground? That doesn't sound fast. Actually, Joel, FedEx Ground is faster than you think. We can't judge things by their name. Don't you agree, Harry? Absolutely. Eileen? Of course. Joy? <laughs> Bob? You see, Joel, we all agree that FedEx Ground is fast, despite the name Ground. Well said, Mr. Turkey Nick. FedEx Ground. Fast, reliable, and for less than you think. Countdown's begun to the Rock and his New Year's Bash, live from Times Square, with performances by Lighthouse, Soldier Boy, American Idol's Jordan Sparks, and Blake Lewis. Special concert performances and more. Hosted by So You Think You Can Dance's Cat Dealey. New Year's Eve, live from Times Square, tomorrow at 11 on Fox. The OT, presented by Lowe's, is sponsored by GMC, official vehicle of the NFL and proud supporter of those who wanted more. Here's a look at next week's wild card matchups in the AFC on Saturday. The Jaguars take on the Steelers, and if you recall, just a couple of weeks ago, Jacksonville went into Pittsburgh and stunned Pittsburgh 29 to 22. David Garrard and Fred Taylor were the stars that day. We'll see next week if the Jags can pull off a repeat performance. In the other wild card matchup on Sunday, it'll be either the Titans or Browns against San Diego. We'll have to wait until tonight to see which team will head to SoCal. Nevertheless, LT and the Chargers head in the postseason with a nice run, winning their last six. Meanwhile, in the NFC, on Saturday, the Redskins, who have won four in a row, visit Seattle. Somehow, Joe Gibbs did a great job keeping that team together during a tough and painful season. As for the Seahawks, of course, they're very tough to beat at home, going 7-1 and one in Seattle this year. Then on Sunday, right here on Fox, it all starts at noon Eastern with the pregame show, the Giants against the Buccaneers. For New York, they looked pretty good last night. The G-Men have won seven straight on the road. And for Tampa, John Gruden's decision to rest his starters down the stretch for the Bucs. Mm, they lost three of their last four. We'll see whether or not that happens. But the big story in the NFC, really, even though it was only the last playoff spot, Washington wins four straight to clinch it, including the victory today over Dallas, riding the back of Todd Collins, who stood by with Pam Oliver afterwards. Okay, thanks a lot, Kirk. Todd, tell me, how on earth did the Redskins keep it together, pull it together, and, uh, you know, live to see this happy day? Well, you got to give a lot of credit to Coach Gibbs and the coaching staff. Uh, you know, we kind of took it one week at a time and uh, dedicated each game to Sean, and uh, just feels like we're all going for a ride right now, and it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. To live up to the urging of Sean Taylor's father to get into the postseason, man, that just got to be something special. It really was. We, we've been through a range of emotions this year. Uh, we had some real real low lows, and now we've had some real high highs. So we just starts all over next week. We just want to keep it going. And finally for you to be an overnight station 13 years in the making, I mean, what's its ride been like for you? It's been great. Uh, I don't know if it's been overnight for me, though. It's been taken me 10 years to get here. So this overnight sensation took 10 years, but uh, it just feels great. And like I say, it's a total team effort. Congratulations to you. All right, appreciate it. Okay, back to you, Kurt. All right, thanks a lot, Pam. And here's how it stack up. Your four division winners, of course, Dallas and Green Bay have the first round by. And as we said, Washington will visit Seattle next week. And then that game will be on Saturday. On Sunday, the Giants will visit Tampa Bay.